Hey, <clears throat> LMAO! Greetings, Earthlings! Okay, yes, it has been way too long. Hello, everyone! It is so good to see everyone's smiling faces. It's so good to see new faces. It's so good to see old faces. It's so good to see everyone. How is everyone doing? How is everyone doing? Thank you, thank you, I know. Who is this? Who's this wacky little alien you've got here? Hello, 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 hello! Hi, 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 hi. Okay, so, hi. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So, Kotaro Haru got Zontan. This is for you. I will, I will give this to you, and I will get her back after the stream. Take good care of her. Excellent job with your quick little sticky fingers. Hi, 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 hi. Oh my god. Okay, Yuki sleeping for 100 years. Yeah, okay. So, um,. I've been on hiatus for a little while. I've been on hiatus for like a month, month and a half. I did not... <laughs> I did not expect to be gone that long. So, uh, for those of you guys who remember, I had a convention. I went to AllCon in Dallas, Texas, and I worked the Artist Alley for a weekend. It was... It was, it was my first Artist Alley, um, and... I it was it was my first artist alley and I it's it's it was a big learning experience for me. I had a great time uh, and I learned a lot because I really want to do uh, artist alleys more going forward. Uh, so as soon as I got back from my artist alley, I've been teasing for several months that I've been setting up a home office space. And guess where I'm streaming from right now? Yes, I set up my home office space. I officially have my own space in my house. It's com like basically completely soundproofed. I got a new mic and yeah. Can you play Sonic Frontiers when it drops? Do you know, actually, I have been considering picking up a Sonic game. So I, I recently watched both Sonic movies. I saw the first one when it came out and I saw the second one in theaters recently. And I decided to watch rewatch them back to back because I love Robotnik so much. I loved Jim Carrey's Robotnik. So I rewatched I rewatched both of them back to back and then I binged all of Sonic Boom and I'm just now sitting over here vibrating in I love Sonic. So I I'm actually kind of excited for Sonic Frontiers and I'm I'm like crossing my fingers that it'll be good and it'll be a good way to like get into the series. <laughs> Watch the Sonic OVA movie. It's the next game. Ooh, I'll definitely have to check that out after stream. I try not to like watch things or look things up um, while I'm live, but yes, absolutely. I'm very excited. I've also been meaning to like, I'm, so here's the thing. I'm really bad at platformers. I, some of my favorite games are platformers. Like I love Psychonauts, but I have never completed Psychonauts because it is it's a platformer, and I'm real bad at platformers, so I've actually never touched a Sonic game. But I'm considering doing a You Rage, You Lose with some of the Sonic games, especially some of the ones that are, like, notoriously bad. Just because I think it would be funny. Just because I think it would be really funny. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, 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 yes. So that's that's definitely in in the works. Um, so another another quick little update before um, before we get we get into the art that I want to work on today. Uh, I am updating my stream schedule. So I used to be four times a week. I am going to be cutting back to three times a week because. Ba 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 ba! Ya fungi got a promotion at the pizzeria. For those of you who don't know, I work at a pizzeria as a security officer. I used to be on day shift, so I'd basically walk around and make sure that the kids were behaving themselves. I would make sure that the animatronics weren't getting into places where they don't need to be. Uh, so now I'm on night shift, so I'm just going to be I'm just going to be basically keeping an eye on the property and making sure the animatronics again don't get into a lot of pro any problems. So yeah, uh, I, it, we work, my, my, my pizzeria is a smaller location. There's a huge like shopping mall kind of location, uh, a couple towns over, but I'm just in a small location. We're just basically an arcade and a pizzeria with like three animatronics. And it's just basically going to be my job to keep them from not dying over, over the course of the nights. And they're pretty great. I have absolutely been meaning to give one of them a bath because, oh my God, like 
they they stink. Why do the animatronics stink so bad? But yeah, no. So I got the <laughs> I got the I got the I got the water vacuum, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give them all clean as soon as I can. But yeah, so I'm working overnight now, and that means that I gotta cut back because I need sleep. Basically, the job is like Five Nights at Freddy's without child murder. I yes, basically, I I do Five Nights at Freddy's in real life. And this is absolutely a joke. I don't actually have animatronics, but we're going to pretend that I work at Five Nights at Freddy's because it's funnier that way. But I really am a security officer. It's actually kind of cool. Everyone's afraid of me because they think I'm scary, but I'm actually really cute because I'm goth. Okay, bye. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's where I've been. I... I'm I'm really excited. I I like my new shift a lot. It's a lot. It's kind of, it's 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 basically the same thing. It's the same thing I've been doing. It just at a different time slot. So that's really just been the adjustment, the the time slotting. But yeah, 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 yeah. I'm really happy. I'm really really happy with how, how everything's going, and I'm really happy that I have my home office space, and it feels really good, and. There's going to be a couple more upgrades coming to coming to the coming to the stream very very soon. Uh, I'm getting a new model. I have an iPhone, so I'm going to get better tracking soon. I'm still using my webcam cuz I'm dumb and I didn't get my iPhone set up yet. But yeah. Yeah. Hello, Last Meow. How are you doing? But yes, yes, we are in the new office space. Everyone be excited. Everyone be happy that this huge project that I've been working on for basically months is now basically entirely completed. And yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Hi, hi, hi. I'm here. I'm excited. It's been too long. It's been too long. Why has it been so long? I have felt so bad. Like, over the past, like, week or so, my office space has been basically set up. There's just a couple things that I've needed to do. So I've been, like, getting those small things squared away. And I'm just over here just like, man... I, I, I am basically done with my projects. I I just I just haven't gotten back to streaming, so I finally told myself, okay, no, we're getting back to streaming. We're doing it. I'm doing it. I'm absolutely doing it. I miss my favorite alien. Hi! Oh my god, hi Amanda. Hi, 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 hi. What the heck? Hello. I I thought I saw you earlier. I didn't I didn't see, but it was good to see you. For those of you who don't know, that's us comic maker. That's my bud. That's my bestie. <laughs> I'm excited for the post credits on Sonic 2. I actually have seen it. I'm gonna need to like, I'm gonna need to like watch some Let's Plays of Sonic or, oh no, really? Okay, yeah, so I, ah, I didn't realize that my mic was being donked. I did get a new mic. I got, I have a, I have a blue, I have a blue Yeti mic now. And I think I might need to upgrade some of, update some of my uh, filters because my filters were set up for the old mic that I had, which was kind of shitty. So thank you for telling me that that's something that I need to listen to and that I need to adjust. I will do my best to fix that after stream because no one wants to watch me troubleshoot audio for 15 minutes. <laughs> I've got some tea to spill about, oh my God, I'm so, I am so glad that everyone has been doing so good and has, and has has crazy stuff going on while I've been gone. That's so funny. I'm glad you're back and wasn't killed by an animatronic. God, same. I mean, honestly, the animatronics are fine. They're fine. They're, they're just, they're fine. They just like, to, they just like to wander and sometimes they scrape at my door and I'm like, guys, you don't need to be doing that. And then they go away. I think, I think the fact that I don't find them creepy, because like some of my coworkers find them creepy. I think the fact that I don't find them creepy kind of like makes them realize they can't mess with me, you know? <laughs> Hi, dragon. Hello. Pets, come here. Yugi's my homie. Hey, y'all, we homies. I've been waiting for Frontiers. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, the game that I'm really, really, really looking forward to is I'm really looking forward to Splatoon 3, which is coming out in September, and I'm in so much pain waiting for Splat 3. Like, I'm dying. I want Splat 3 so bad. I'm, I actually have been wanting to do a, another playing with chat stream for a while, so I might do a Splatoon 2 playing with chat stream. <laughs> How's your boyfriend, Springtrap? I Springtrap is not my boyfriend. Also, we have never had a spring lock suit. I don't know what you guys are talking about. We don't have those. We don't have those here. Those don't exist. I don't know what you're talking about. 
<sighs> a tree fell right outside my window in my yard. That is that is terrifying. I want to see Yuki Squid Kid. Yes, I actually do have an Octoling design. I just haven't like made a model for it. Once I, once I finish my new. Once I finish my new uh, model, I definitely want to make some more alternate models and some more goofy stuff. So yeah, no, absolutely. Squid model would be awesome. No, I agree. Splatoon doesn't have Sonic in it. Imagine, can you imagine? Cause Splatoon 1, Splatoon 1 did a crossover with some other properties. They did a, they did a crossover with Squid Girl, which was a manga at the time of Splatoon 1. And oh man, can you imagine can you imagine if there was a crossover with, with with like Sonic and you got like a little Sonic outfit? You could get Sonic's shoes to put on your squids. Spin, yes, spin dash plus ink. Yes, yes. And make like, oh, a new weapon. Oh, that would be so cool. Like a roller, a roller, right? A roller would uh, would be like Amy's hammer. That would be so cool. That would be dope. Yes, gotta go fast shoes. Yes, 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 yes. That should be, that should, yes. I gotta head out. Oh, no problem, Heave. I hope you feel better. It was good seeing you. Thanks for hanging out with us. What about the Chaos Emeralds? Um, uh, maybe they appear as set dressing in a stage. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I, I, I just think that'd be really cool. But I don't think we're gonna get another Sega Nintendo crossover. Hi, big brain. Hello. How are you doing? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. It's so good to see you. Welcome to the streams. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Work! Work, 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 <laughs> It's funny because my first son has a canine. Okay, 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 okay. Do you guys want to draw Miku? Because I have this Miku that's just been sitting in my files waiting to be finished. And I want to show you guys. I want to, I want to finish it. I want to get, I'm going to get going on it. I'm really happy right now. That's so good. I'm so glad you're happy, dragon. Okay. Uh, let me, let me, yes, Miku, Snicker just subscribed, thank you for the subscribe, what the heck, what the heck, I am, like, I am living for all of the new faces I'm seeing, and all the new people who are hopping in, that's awesome, I'm so glad, hello everyone, yes, okay, and away, all right, welcome back everyone to another Koyuki live stream, sub to Yuki, <laughs> God, like that, like that old sub to PewDiePie meme? Man, that's so funny. Okay, I have to move. Oh my gosh. I just dropped my webcam. What the heck? I was trying to grab my tablet and I dropped my webcam. How did I manage to do that? Don't worry, everyone. All part of the show, all part of the show, folks. <laughs> One of the things about my new, uh, my new office space is it's a, li it's a little cramped. It's not nearly as cramped as my old office used to, as my old streaming spot used to be but it's still kind of cramped so this is absolutely to be expected with the level of of scuff i can't believe i just dropped my webcam hi i fixed it i fixed my webcam <laughs> i fixed my webcam i did it i fixed it hello i'm back i'm back everyone uh, did you miss me <laughs> oh, hi tandrox how are you doing welcome uh, I'm happy because Yuki's back, but also really happy because I made it to 100 subs. Nice. The f honestly, the first, the first like hundred or so subs is kind of the hard part. R really, the first like thousand is your is your really really hard climb. Kind of once you get to that first that first level is when is when like it it starts to get a little bit easier to grow. You know. So yeah, like I've been. God, how long have I been a VTuber? I've been streaming basically weekly for about um, maybe like almost two years. I think it's going to be two years in November. So it, and, and we're, 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 on, we're at about 600, which is nothing to sneeze at. Like 600 is uh, 600 is a, is a good is a good number. Like we've worked for that. But also um it, it's it's still a climb it's still a climb yes absolutely she's blue sonic is blue have you guys seen the miku sonic um outfit senpai noticed me hello sarcastic yeti you have been noticed congratulations <laughs> have you guys seen the miku hold on now that now that i'm like off topic i want to show you guys the miku sonic costume this is a uh this is a costume from a um uh, a game. It's one of the Miku. It's one of the Miku Project Diva games, which is the Miku Rhythm game. And they gave her a little. 
Sonic costume for a crossover. It's absolutely adorable. Look at this. Let me zoom in on it. Look at Miku in the little Sonic hoodie. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? I love it. It's so adorable. I love this so much. It's it's the best thing in the world. I love th I love that she gets the gloves. I love the gloves. That's the best part. It's the shoes. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. It's the cutest thing in the world. I'm absolutely in love. I cannot even. Like, I, people don't even say that anymore, but like, this is so good. Oh, yeah, I think... Yeah, no, Konami didn't make the Miku games. It was Sega, I believe. No, that, that's, that feels right. That feels right in my bones. So, yeah. Okay. Um... Oh, we're doing line art today. Okay, so actually, before we actually get into doing line art on this, I want to... I'm going to do something. Because uh, for those of you who, know, who are in the know, I have, I have struggled with my line art for like ever, basically. Because I've, I've, all, I've felt kind of insecure about my line art for a while because um, I've noticed that my, my lines are always like super, super boring. Right. So they they're like one they're one thickness there. There's not much like going on. Uh, what's the what's the phrase uh, line weight? I don't have really good line weight. Right. Um, but I have found that if I use a smaller canvas size. Right. And then I size it back up before I color then I get better line weight. So I'm gonna try that on this piece today and see what happens. Hello, Snucker, how are you doing? Hello, Lehire Monkeys, how are you doing? Welcome. <laughs> Miku is my sleep paralysis demon. She dances in the corner. I am truly scared. Honestly, I would love to have Miku as my sleep paralysis demon. Like, no lie, no cap. Uh, Miku would be a great sleep paralysis demon to have. Can you imagine? No, it's, uh, no, it's kind of like that, uh... <laughs> What the heck? How did Burger King get Dairy Queen pregnant? He forgot to wrap his Whopper. Gleam! Gleam, you can't just say things like that. Gleam, you can't just say things like that. This is YouTube. I'm gonna get bonked. I'm gonna get bonked by Susan. Hello, EFC. How are you doing? Welcome. It's so good to see you. Gleam, you can't say things like that. This is on YouTube. But also, that's that's very <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's that is an extremely. Can someone redeem Bonk for? <laughs> can someone redeem Bonk for Gleam? <laughs> Mr. Beast in the chat. I will believe that when I see it. Uh, if you see my streams, I go mad about getting the color perfect. Oh man, I know the feeling. See, that's why when I'm coloring, I have my my reference images. Thank you, thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, I have my reference images pulled up when I'm coloring, and I color drop from my reference images. Thank you for the hydrate. Well, Morgan's here. That means everyone's gonna be spamming hydrate now. <laughs> here you go. One hydrate. One sippy sippy coming up. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for the sippy. Thank you for the delicious Bahi Blast. Appreciations. Ugh. Somebody get it's hot in here. Oh god, you guys really want me to take off my jacket, huh? <laughs> Absolutely goofy on main. Okay, so. Yeah, I can like I can already tell that I'm getting better line weight with the smaller canvas size, which I'm actually very happy about. I think I still want to want to do the thing where I use I, I start with a smaller brush and I work my way up to the bigger things. So let's start with the smaller details that need the smaller brush and work our way from there. <sighs> mm. My last work was an altered FNAF wet floor slime, so I had my own color pot. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I like it when you can like draw things from video games, but if you slightly change them, then they have like a completely different, a completely different vibe, you know? It's time to spin the wheel of silly hats, you stupid VTuber. First guy, why? Artist, why? Oh my God, you guys. Okay, first things first. 
Shoulders. Enjoy your shoulders. God, man, it's getting so warm in here. Wow, I, man, I really need to, really need to take off my jacket. Goodness. Oof. Oof. Okay, uh, and it was silly hats. Oh no, that's so goofy. Here we go. Okay. All right, what are we gonna get? Uh, Among Us? Among Us? Does Among Us? Among Us? Among Us? Among Us? Among Us Sus? Susus Among Us? Susus Among Us? Among Us Sus? Among Us Sus Baby? Among Us Baby? Among Us Baby Sussy Baka in 4K? Imposter Sus? <laughs> Not me just saying random, random Among Us stuff in hopes that maybe it'll be funny. <laughs> okay, hold on. Miku! 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 You can call me Miku! Blue hair! Blue eyes! Hiding in your Wi-Fi! Okay, this is- this is extremely... extremely normal for us. I... oh, how I missed this. Okay. I'm zooming in here. It's actually been a while since I've drawn on this tablet. Um, because I've been drawing on my laptop, like, a lot, a lot. And my laptop, I actually get to draw on the screen with. So it's, it, this is a completely different kind of feeling right now. I, it's been way too long since I've drawn with my actual plug-in tablet. Those memes are so dead. What is wrong with the internet? Really? Is Among Us really already dead? I'm actually kind of sad about that because I really liked it. Man, I'm really trying to like... Compared to me, those lines look super fat. Yeah, I'm trying to get, um, I'm trying to get like a good uh, different, like, different levels, you know? So I'm trying to use some, uh, really thin lines here for the, 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 uh, little details here, and then I'm gonna get thicker and thicker. People are among everything. Aliens are among us. Chickens are among the coop. And Yuki is among Springtrap. Everyone stop teasing me for my crush on Springtrap who doesn't exist. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Our company has never used Springwalk animatronic suits. <laughs> it's not 100% dead, but people make fun of the meme way more than they actually meme. Oh, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah, no, I've seen that. Because I think Among Us has, like, crossed over from being, like, cool to being kind of cringy. And then it also has crossed back into being cool again. So it's it's gone through, like, the full meme life cycle at this point. Would it be lazy if I just made one of these little buttons and then I just copied and pasted it <laughs> to like right there? I think that'd be lazy and I think I'm going to do it because I'm cool and I can do what I want. That's exactly what someone who works for a company that wants to keep their spring lock box a secret would say. Listen, listen. My lines are like one pixel on a canvas. That's, that's crazy. I... I, I like tried to do line art like that and I just can't get, I just can't get, um, satisfied with it. Even though I know if I use thinner lines, I would have an easier time. If I use thinner lines, I'd have an easier time getting a difference between thick and thin. But just, I am, I am absolutely too, too stuck in my ways with my thick lines. <laughs> It's weird. It's like internet pick already. Has it lost its 15 minutes or is it still relevant? No, I, I understand. I totally get what you're saying. No, I hear that. I feel that in my bones. It I'm obsessive. It like kills me when I found a way. No, I know the feeling. I absolutely know the feeling. Especially when like you want a piece to turn out like good and it just is not. It's just not happening. No, I absolutely know the feel. You are you are in good company here. <laughs> So another thing I found uh, as I've been practicing my line art on my own time is if I overshoot like this, it turns out a lot better if I just overshoot and then clean it up instead of trying to like really go for getting line weight with, with pressure, uh, with the pen pressure. So if anyone else has ever been uh, in the same in the same conundrum, 
with their line weight as I have, try overshooting and making things like too big and then just carve it down with your eraser. Because I've been doing that and I've actually found that it's really nice. Um, I have I know last time we streamed, I uh, was doing some like ch little chibi arts, um, kind of like this, but I was doing them for your character here commissions, which I ended up actually not having to do. I didn't have to take uh, any commissions because um, I was able to get my repairs done, which is great. Thank you guys all so much for all the help. Um, but one of the things as I've been working on, uh, the your character hears in my own time, hello, Jisming, it's so good to see you. One of the things I found out as, as I've been working on the your character hears in my own time is carving down the line art as, if it's too big has been just a lot more has given me a lot better results that I'm a lot happier with than trying to, you know, like, look look at my pen. Thin, thick, thin, thick, right? Like, that's it's, been, it's given me more consistent results to carve it down than to make my pen pressure do the work, you know? You're, you're, you're really in, in, you're supposed to let the pen pressure do most of the work, but I've found that it is just, it's just not, not really worth it. I spend, I spend more time fighting with my pen, with my pen pressure than I do actually making art. And that's your Yuki life tip for the day. And we're just going to be lazy and put that over there. In the future, I'm going to disable pen pressure. Ooh, interesting. I see the Incredibles logo. Anyone else? Oh no! <laughs> no, you're right. I, I can kind of see it too. It's the little. It's supposed to be the little buttons on the headphone. But I know I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. <laughs> okay. Nice. There we go. That's just one one down, baby. <laughs> No thin line, always thick. That's how I feel. Yuki, do you want a line art tip that I do? Ooh, yeah, hit me, hit me. I'm always, I'm always looking for new things to try to up my game. Yes. I've been meaning to do some really, some good like, um, like this isn't, this isn't related to line art, but I've been wanting to take some figure drawing classes because the last time I took figure drawing was when I was in college, and I, I don't go to college anymore. And I enjoyed, I enjoyed doing, uh, doing the drawing classes when I was there, but we never got a chance to do figure drawing. So I've been really, really wanting to, <clears throat> I've been really wanting to, uh, find a drawing class in my area and do some like live figure drawing. So good. Seriously, you should work at Happy Meat Farms. Eh, I'm not really, man, I'm not really, uh, it, it, uh, I've worked fast food before, and I'm just, it, you know, I really like the security work a lot more, if I'm being totally honest. <laughs> I actually, I actually haven't played Happy Burger Farm yet. Um, I, it just, it doesn't hook me in the same way FNAF did. And I think also because FNAF, like, defined the genre of that kind of, that, that flavor of indie horror. And... Nothing else hits quite the same for me as FNAF does. So, yeah, I've been meaning to get into some other uh, horror franchises, but, like, I couldn't get into Bendy and the Ink Machine. I couldn't... I'm not really getting into Poppies, because the developers of Poppies are, like, really terrible people. Um, so, yeah. I've heard good things about Happy Burger Farm, but, yeah... Happy Meat Farms, look it up on YouTube. Is that the one where it's like the 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 bad guy's like a cow and you're like in a fast food restaurant? That's the one you're that's the one, right? Right? That feels right. That feels right to me. Okay, hold on. So what I'm trying to do here is I want to do a see how all of these lines are thicker on this side and they're thinner on that side? That's what I'm trying to do here. I want to thicken up this little groove here. No, best company ever. Sounds like someone who's brainwashed would say. <laughs> when two parts of a drawing touch, like the headphones of the hair, when the lines connect, make it slightly thicker. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard, I've, I've heard that trick, and I've actually 
been trying to do that more. Yes, I know what you're talking about. Because what you're doing is you're implying a little shadow where they would touch. Yes. I know that one. I know that one. I just haven't done it before because I'm dumb. <laughs> Happy Meat Farm exists for one reason. Feed mother. See, now, I, now I'm now i like wondering what, what's the lore there? What's that? Obviously, like that's some kind of big bad guy, but uh, should I play it? Should I play it? I haven't I haven't really played a horror game since I played Spookies. And the reason we stopped playing Spookies is Spookies made me really motion sick. Like, I can't play VR because I get super motion sick. And walking in all those long hallways and spookies also made me like super motion sick. Like, I, I think I think the stream where we ended on on our spookies let's play was we got into meat man's level and i was i was like walking through the hallways and i just suddenly like hold on hold on i have to stop hold on i'm, I'm about to die i'm about to die i'm finna to die and like i went on brb for like 15 minutes and everyone was memeing about how my head was in the toilets <laughs> but yeah no i got like super motion sick i think that's another reason why i don't play a lot of 3d games like, you know, games with a 3D environment. Because I also get, um, I also get, like, super motion sick if I play those kind of games. It's gotten to the point where I was watching Markiplier do his Let's Play of Security Breach when it first came out. And I had to take the, I had to take the Security Breach Let's Play in, like, 15 minute, 15 minute chunks. I couldn't watch it all the way through because I got super motion sick. Especially the part in Security Breach where he was in the daycare with uh, Sun and Moon. And when you're crawling through all of those, uh, crawling through all the like little fun kitty tubes, that part got me super motion sick. I don't know what it was. Yeah. What drawing software do I use? I am using Clip Studio Paint. I love Clip Studio Paint. I will sing Clip Studio's praises till the ends of the earth. I love it. It's like no, no joke. I really like Clip Studio Paint. <laughs> Clipsido Paint, it has all of the painting features of Paint Tool Sci. It has all of the brush customizability of Photoshop. It has text processing. Um, it ha like it, it is really good. It's a really, really good software. I like it a lot. If you haven't used Clipsido Paint before, it's really good. I highly recommend it. Okay, I think I can get away with doing something like this, because this is like a 3D shape, right? So if I do this right, I can just shift this to the side here, and it makes a 3D illusion without me having to ink anything else, see? And if I... Here, I want to make sure that these overlap properly. Because you want it to look like a natural extension. Get over it with exposure therapy and a bucket on standby. Oh no! No! You keep vomiting into a bucket because they're motion sick. ASMR. NSFW gone wrong. God, can you imagine? That is like one way to get on live stream fails though. Can, can God, can you imagine? Can you imagine if I actually, like, tried to do that and I just, like, upchucked on stream? Very, very clippable moments. No, it's not happening. Uh-uh, I love myself more than that. <laughs> God. Happy Meat Farms is an ARG on YouTube. The company is... Oh! Okay, okay, that's interesting. I actually really like ARGs. ARGs are kind of cool. Um, I so while I've been drawing and... <clears throat> Grunk <laughs> in my throat. So I've been like drawing and working on stuff behind the scenes on my laptop. I've been listening to a lot of uh, video essays and like documentaries and stuff. I really like Wendigoon. I listen to Wendigoon all the time. I recently finished his entire Conspiracy Theory Iceberg video series. Really, really good. It's really good. If you guys haven't watched Wendigoon before, he does true crime and like weird history moment breakdowns. It's really cool. And I, uh, he did, how did I get, how did I get on this? Oh, he, he does ARG walkthroughs um, and he's covered 
He recently actually did a FNAF video where he broke down the entire lore of FNAF and like explained to you who William Afton is and how all how everything got started. It's it's actually a really good way to get all the FNAF lore in a super condensed um, format. Did not mean to do that. So I highly, I highly recommend checking him out. He's really, really good. He started his channel like a, a year or so ago, maybe a little bit longer than that. And he's like blown up. He's at like a million subscribers now. It's really cool. <laughs> you need to put the bucket on eBay dipped in resin and sign. No, absolutely not. I am. I you guys are not getting Yuki trying to overcome motion sickness stream. It's not happening. <laughs> Hi, Sticky Art. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. We're working on some line art for a Miku, Miku little chibi art I did. Can I make this happen, please? Can I, can I draw a line? Can I please draw a line? Is that okay? Is that acceptable? <laughs> Here, I'm just gonna... Yeah, that'll work. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to try and round this edge just a little bit and make that blend in a little bit more. Yeah, just like that. And then clean it up because you overshot. See? See what I'm talking about with it's easier to, to clean up when you overshoot than it is to, um, than it is to try and make your, make your uh, pen pressure do all the work. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take that and extend that up a little bit, and then we can probably clean it up a little bit more concisely. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Now you're cooking with gas. <clears throat> hey, Steve. How you doing, Steve? You gives the next Belle Delphine. She sells puke while Belle sells her bath water. No! Oh my god! Sorry, Yuki, your hand working subscription has ended. You can renew your subscription by paying $7.42 a month. No! Please, I don't have that kind of money. I spent it all on Baja Blast. <laughs> Wonder what I could sell. Looks at all the chip bags on the floor endearingly. You could, if you, uh, if you like tape two potato chips together, you can make them kind of look like famous people and then be like, oh, I found this potato chip and it looks like Princess Diana. And then, <laughs> and then people just give you money for that. Like, you know how people will sell Cheetos? But it's like, Cheetos shaped like the Virgin Mary. Like, that, that's what that reminds me of. I've been good. I've been busy too, and I even made a new D and D campaign. I'm the DM. That's so cool. That's so cool. I hope you guys are having a lot of fun. I haven't played D and D in a while. I ended up having to drop my previous campaign just because I was so busy. I couldn't keep up with all of it, and I'm really sad. But like, we got we got to do like a little. Um, Oh, this is what would happen. So we got to like get to the end of the story, but it just wasn't the same as like actually playing it out, you know? I mix Baja Blast and Mountain Dew and call it Turtle Sewer Water. What? Like, do the Ninja Turtles make it? The Ninja Turtles, okay, like, no lie, no cap. The Ninja Turtles are really big, like, Mountain Dew Dorito gamers. Like, I'm not joking. They are huge Mountain Dew Dorito gamers. <laughs> People buy literally anything. Someone bought an invisible sculpture and there's literally just pieces of duct tape on the floor. That's actually really funny. That's actually really funny. Have you guys seen the um, the modern art? It was a guy who taped a banana to a wall, right? So he taped a banana to a wall and he sold it like that. And like the art was supposed to be like a commentary on modern art like the the, the outrage you felt at just being like this guy just could just put a banana on a wall what the heck like that was the art it was it was really weird it was really kind of interesting though like the modern art world has a lot of problems but it also does some really cool stuff and i think that like <clears throat> the the idea of making art that makes fun of arts that's that's really good i like that a lot <laughs> Because, like, I'm absolutely the kind of person who can take a joke, and I really like it when people do stuff like that, you know? Like, yes, of course, definitely make fun of us for, you know, selling 
weird sculptures that are just that are just like masses of model magic. That's yeah, great. Someone bought blank modern art, which was a fucking white canvas. Like, yeah. And like the weird thing is, it's only ever like the rich people who are already established artists who can get away with doing crazy bonkers stuff like that. It's like, I swear, all the entirety of the modern art world is just in on it. And they're all like just running like a money laundering racket. Because I cannot imagine that any actual human being would pay for art like that unless it had like a rich person's name attached to it, you know? I'm probably being very ignorant about modern art right now, but also if you are actually knowledgeable about modern art, you're part of the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I mix fruit juice and sparkling water and call it tax evasion. The government expects you to give them money to consume Mountain Dew. What? Hold up, what? Like, I know you're supposed to pay sales taxes on, like, everything, but why Mountain Dew specifically? <laughs> Selling farts in a jar for art. No, like, that's, that's literally going to be something I saw on my merch store eventually. I've had this idea where it's just a fart jar. No, that's good. That, that's absolutely, it's, it's happening. Like, it's not a joke. It's happening. They call it sugar tax. What? That's so weird. That's almost as bad as like, okay, is this true that you have a mandatory television tax in the UK? Is that true? That like, even if you don't watch TV or you don't like own a TV, you, you have to pay a television tax? To keep, like, the BBC running? Is that true? Like, I guess it makes sense, like, BBC gets their funding from somewhere. But also, what? <laughs> I don't know, I guess it's just like a... If that is true. The TV license fee is only if you use BBC stuff, but isn't it, like, inescapable? Like, if you breathe, you're using something from the BBC? Also, is the BBC, like, news, or is it just, like, entertainment? Because, like, if, if like, the taxpayer dollars are paying for British, British drama number 432, like, that's hilarious to me. I've never found such an atrocious organization that's fa I'm utterly fascinated. I'm utterly fascinated, because, like, I don't, I don't live in the UK, uh, I've never, like, actively been interested in what's going on over there but that like it's like it's like studying an alien world and this is coming from an alien this is coming from an alien <laughs> oh my god that's so crazy that's insane actually i love it like Sucks to be you. Sucks that you have to, sucks that you're under the inescapable thumb of <laughs> Sucks you're under, the, you're under the inescapable thumb of the BBC, but damn, uh, that's funny though. They really try to scare people into paying it, but I've read up on it. Okay, interesting. Absolutely fascinating. Fascinating on main. Very, very interesting. Mm. I canceled cable till they stopped paying, putting far, Fox News as part of my subscription. See, oh man, cable is just like dead now. Like. Only if you use the services you need to pay. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay. I'm trying to figure out the best angle to approach this one right here from. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Found it. I found the angle. I need to figure out what angle to use. At, at, at a certain point, I wonder if it would just be worth it to just use the uh, line tool. And then I remember the line tool is boring, and I'm cooler than that. <laughs> Actually, you know what? No, I did want that line. Because I was thinking I would do this, slide, this side thick and this side thin, but I think I want to do this side thin and this side thick. Oh, she thick, though! Look at that line, baby. Ah, girl, look at that line. Ah, I just totally dated myself right there. Does anyone even remember that song? Does anyone even remember that song? The TV license organization is a bunch of criminals trying to force you into a contract, and they're basically postmen. Interesting. So, okay, hold on. Over in the UK, over in the UK, do you guys not like the post office? 
Because here in here in the U.S., like the post office are like heroes who are being like bullied by the government. You know, the post office has been on decline because of really bad legislation that basically gutted their finances. They were the only government organization that was actually posting a profit until um, the right got their hands on them. I'm not joking. Like you can look this up. Oh, okay. In terms of rights. Okay, okay. I remember that song. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Okay, cool. Cool. I'm so glad someone remembers and that I wasn't just being extremely cringe. I mean, I was being extremely cringe, but you know, you know, it's fine. 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 <laughs> goofy on main. Absolutely goofy on main. Man, doing all these little details is driving me bonkers. Is there the polka version of that song? Wait, was that a, was that Weird Al? Did Weird Al do that? That sounds that sounds so Weird Al. It's not even funny. Oh my god, really? There was a polka version. I am I am just absolutely. I'm on the floor. I'm on the floor. Amazon lobbyists have a lot of money. Yeah, that sounds about right. No, because Amazon has its own, like, privatized delivery delivery service. Like, everything in Amazon is done in-house just because it saves money that way. And, yeah, that's why, they, that's why, like, a lot of places with Amazon, they ship with Amazon couriers and not, like, uh, FedEx or something. Yeah, no, 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 I gotcha. That's wacky. Amazon is, like, simultaneously the biggest convenience of the modern age and one of the greatest sins. Because they are just, like, the textbook evil megacorporation. Like, they are the most textbook evil megacorporation, and I am not joking. Like, you thought Google was evil, and, ooh, you ain't seen nothing on Am- You ain't seen nothing, but um, when you haven't seen Amazon. Yeah, it's, it's absolute bonkers. <clears throat> Weird Al's CNR song is good. He ate his own weight in coal and excreted diamonds every day. I actually, wait, I haven't heard that one. I, I thought I was a Weird Al fan. What? Every day I learn new Weird Al facts. <laughs> Weird Al is one of those guys too, where he's been like in the industry for so long. He has this body of work that it, you know, you can, you can be a fan of his older stuff. You can be a fan of his newer stuff. And it's almost like you're a fan of two completely different artists just because of how long he's been active and how much he's produced and how much he's changed, you know? And some of it comes from, um, you know, he's a parody artist, so the music industry itself changes. So, of course, his style is going to adapt with the music industry, but also if you look at, like, uh, 90s, 80s Weird Al and today's Weird Al, it's, he's completely different. It's, it's crazy. It's fascinating. I One of my favorite movies when I was first on this planet and I was kind of getting acclimated to you guys um, was the Weird Al movie UHF. If you guys have never seen UHF, we'll have to do a Monday Night Movies in the, in the Discord server. And because I it's such a funny movie. Uh, basically, Weird Al plays a kind of a kind of a kind of a goofy guy, kind of a loser. And he's in between jobs because he's he's too, you know, daydreamy, imaginative, and he always gets fired. Right. And he ends up through crazy random happenstance running his uncle's local TV station and he makes it a absolute hit. It's a it's the best station in town. And and the whole and and then he ends up he ends up on the shit list of uh he ends up on the shit list of like the the big man, like the guy with the big network station. And it's about this whole conflict of this network guy trying to stop Weird Al's little dinky radio station broadcasting out of a closet. <laughs> and Weird Al is just like so lovable and goofy that he's able to pirouette gracefully away from all of the all of the bad guys uh, attempts to, to shut him down. It's adorable. It's a great movie. It's a great movie. We're doing a movie night next week in the Discord server. If you guys aren't in the Discord server, I, hi I highly recommend joining it because we're going to be watching Chicken Run. And we definitely need to... We definitely need to watch um, UHF after we watch Chicken Run. 
Absolutely. Mm. Let me actually uh, update the uh, join link for the Discord for anyone who hasn't joined the Discord. Not me. Not me doing something that I should have done when I was setting up right now on stream. I do this all the time. I'm the worst. I just grabbed the wrong thing. Ugh. Okay. And I should have the command updated. There you go. Join the Discord. It's cool. The Discord's cool. It's fun. There's art in there. And we post memes. <clears throat> when is JoJo movie night? I do owe you guys JoJo, don't I? Um, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do JoJo as a reaction stream. So I can I can probably get that. Yeah, I can probably I can probably do it. I'll do it soon. I'll do it soon. It's I, it's gonna be it's gonna be a it's gonna be a stream. It's gonna be a stream, and it's gonna be like a um like a watch along stream. So that's that's why I've been holding off on it. Um, but yes, I haven't forgotten that we are doing JoJo, uh, eventually. I might, I might do it as a Monday movie night, but, uh, maybe, maybe not. I, I'm still deciding on that. <clears throat> you might have heard of it, but there's an anime on Amazon Prime called Are Creators, and it's better than it has any right to be. I actually haven't heard of it. I actually have not heard of it. Chicken Run was my childhood. I watched it like four times. Maybe you question the food industry, and I really like the animation style. Yeah, the people who made Chicken Run, they also made Wallace and Gromit. Uh, and I, I'm a big Wallace and Gromit fan, so uh, I I also love Chicken Run. <laughs> it's a really, really good movie, and I've been wanting to rewatch it, and I was like, hey, why don't we just, uh, what, why don't we just make it a, make it a, make it a movie night in the Discord? That sounds fun, right? Yeah! I'm, I am just recreators. Oh, okay. Which one's that one? Which one? What is that one about? Because I re I recognize recreators. I recognize recreators, and I'm not. Ooh. I'm tr I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to like g remember anything about that. Like I'm just totally blanking. What's that one about? Is that the one? No, that's not. Is that the one about the about the girls that are making an anime in high school? Like they have an anime club, but they're like making a character gets pulled into the real world from stories. Oh, so it's like an isekai. Okay, then I don't know anything about this one. Cause I, I which one's the one about the girls with the anime club? Like, I, I, I distinctly remember that being an anime, and it looked cute, and I haven't got a chance to sit down and watch it. You know what else I've been meaning to uh, finish? Beastars. Does Beastars have a new uh, season yet? Because I think season two just happened. Yiki, you've heard about the movie Belle. What are your thoughts? Uh, is... What movie is that? I actually haven't heard of that one. Okay, so the main character is still in this world. The other characters come to our world. Interesting. Interesting. Man, anime has some crazy stuff. That's that's so crazy. Okay. Hey, uh, would anyone be mad if I BRB'd really quick? I have to pee, like, really bad. Speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> I am I am gonna pee. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be right back. I'll be right back. Don't miss me too bad. I'll be like five minutes. Stops. Time me. Time me. Time me. Let's 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 go for world 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 piss speed run record, okay? Any percent. Okay. Be right back.
I'm back. What's my time? What's my time? Speed run. World record. World record. World record speed run. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Hi. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Also, I'll start singing, then everyone will be in trouble. God. Rip the music. F. Oh, did I? Did, is it good? Is it good? Do we fix it? Is it good? Is it good? It better be good or else. <laughs> okay. Hi. Hello. Hello, Jazzman. How are you doing? Goofy. Hello. Hello, everyone. I'm back. Okay, we got we got Miku. We got Miku. We got Miku here, and if you don't got Miku, what are you doing with your life? What are you doing with your life? We got Mikus! Alright, forget about it! <laughs> Stupid, dumb. Four, four minutes and 19... Ah, oh, man! You know, I should I should have gone for the one for the one extra second. <laughs> Dumb, absolutely goofy on main. Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for being patient. I am foolish. It's it's been a while since I've like actually sat down and streamed, so like my routine is kind of all bunked up. <laughs> so I take a break. I got seven more line more skill. Hello, other Yuki. How are you doing? There's like three Yukis that pop up in chat every now and then. <laughs> Have you ever heard an album called A Soap Opera by the Kinks? I actually haven't, no. Is, I, I mean, I assume it's good, that's why you're talking about it. What kind of band are they? It's Brill. Is that a is that a genre? I have not heard of that genre. I the kind of stuff I usually listen to is like you know MCR, Fall Out Boy, Pink of the Disco. Pink of the Disco is probably one of my favorite bands. Um, yeah. So guys, guys, MCR is back. MCR is back. Did you guys know that MCR is back? Oh my god, MCR is back, and they're doing shows right now. Thank you for the hydrate, Alphys. One sippy coming up. They did Sunny Afternoon and YRGM. YRGM. Is that a, is that a song or? Oh. Oh. Thank you for the sippy. Thank yous. Close 200. 200 what? 200 what? In the 70s, everyone forgot about. Oh, okay. So they're kind of one of those like old school bands. Gotcha, gotcha. Guys, MCR is back. I I have no doubt that your band is very, very cool. Uh, but MCR is back. I could do Snow Miser right now. Oh, no. <laughs> I dare you. You won't. You won't. You're saving. You're saving up those points. You're saving up those spores. You won't blow them right now just to make me put my jacket back on. You wouldn't dare. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> Imagine making me put my jacket back on. Couldn't be you, Dorito. <laughs> Goofy. Far Sky, don't! Far Sky, no! Far Sky, no! <laughs> no! I like shoulders! I like shoulders! Shoulders good! Hi, Kit Kat! How you doing? Welcome! I'm trying to do this little, like, part to connect, because I want this section at the bottom to be thicker. I want it to be all thick! It's gonna be one of those things that I have to, like, carve down. Eh. Is summer, bro? Yes, I like shoulders. Exactly. Can you believe that it's already summer? It feels like it feels like I blinked, and the seasons changed. This planet is crazy. Like it was spring for like five seconds. I swear. Don't make me put my jacket back on. Don't do it. You guys, no, <laughs> no, no, no jacket. No, no. Please, not my shoulders. Not my little shoulders. Not my shoulders. I'm Mr. White Christmas. I'm high on crack. <laughs> it was 95 yesterday and it's 72 today. That's crazy. It was like 60 degrees on like Saturday or Sunday. Absolutely insane. Fahrenheit? Yeah. No. If it was like 92 degrees Celsius, you'd be dead. Remember, Fahrenheit is people temperature, and Celsius is water temperature. 
That look right? Let me zoom out. That looks slightly off, but I can't, I'm not entirely sure how, how it's off. Hey, Hero, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. It's, it's good. It's good. I've been doing good. I'm glad to be back. It feels, it feels really good to be back. I have just, I've been missing it. Not as sane as a winter advisory while it's still screen. On God. But like, that's like normal for like East Coast, right? Because East Coast, United States, they, they get really, really cold in the winter months. And then the cold just kind of sticks around. And it doesn't go away. That looks good, right? That looks accurate. I'm in the West. Okay, that's insane. Well, okay, are you in like the Northwest? Because like Oregon and stuff can also have pretty brutal winters. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I live in Texas. <laughs> I live in Texas. It's like one day you wake up and it's 90 and it's like not going to be. It's going to be 90 for like seven months. Probably longer than that. It's like it's like 90 degrees, like eight months of the year here. I'm Oregon. There it is. There it is. That's it. Found it. Discovered it. <laughs> Yuki is back, but all humanity is extinct because the fungies have left. No, the fungies return. I will single-handedly repopulate the fungi species. Don't worry. I really shouldn't be saying things like that on stream. I am just inviting weird fan art at this point. <laughs> Okay, uh, I think we just have these little details and then we're done with the little belt loop. This belt loop is one of my favorite parts of Miku's design. I'm not joking. It's so cute. I'm dying over here, especially since my wardrobe is black, but I have an excuse to be inside. God, okay, I'll help repopulate the planet. No! Oh, no! I'm Baltimore-ish on the, on the East Coast. Yeah, Baltimore is like East Coast-ish. Yeah. Is Stephen King in your backyard? Because Stephen King lives in Maine, right? Where does he live in Maine? I feel like Neil Cesariga also lives in Maine. He lives somewhere in New England. I know that Maine isn't all of New England, but Maine is like stereotypical New England. You know what I mean? I feel I feel like I'm I feel like I'm saying a lot of things that uh, is gonna make New Englanders kind of mad. But also, it's kind of true though. <laughs> Goof, goofy on Maine. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, that looks good. Welcome to the Fung Zone! <laughs> oh god, I remember that. Oh, I remember that. Oh, that, that, that text, that like, uh... There it is! There it is! Return! Return of the shoulders! Return of the shoulders! Oh, look, it is getting... Oh, it's getting kind of warm in here. I gotta take that off. Oof, man. Man, Mr. Snowmiser came in and he immediately just left again. <laughs> dumb. Absolutely dumb. Everyone say, thank you, Jazz Man! <laughs> Oh, man. Goofy on main. Okay. That's cute. I like that. Yeah, okay. I'm liking I'm liking this a lot so far. Yeah. We're getting there. We are getting there. You need to draw a baby wet floor sign. Probably a robot vacuum cleaner. Yes. Also known as a Roomba. Okay, where's some other little parts that have... The thank you, the every <laughs> Jasmine, you're appreciated. Everyone's appreciating you. <laughs> That's so good. I love how I can just say say things like that, and everyone just immediately chimes in. I feel like the most powerful kindergarten teacher. Nope, snow miser is only once per stream. You only get one snow miser per stream, and it was used by Dorito. <laughs> nice excellence. I am powerful. I am powerful because I set. I set up the the redeems. Yeah. Mm. So we have the original male FNAF sign, my cat girl one. It makes sense. I oh my gosh, did you so you made the little like wet floor sign a cat girl? That's so funny. I was gonna use my other points to redeem Snow Miser. Ah! 
<laughs> Add Jasmine giveth and Jasmine take it away, but it's only once. It's only one per stream. I'm pretty sure. It, sh it should say down in the uh, description box below where all of the uh, commands and the point store is. And I'm pretty sure I made it just once per stream. Because, like, like, Snow Miser and Hot in Here are both kind of expensive. So I don't want people to, like, constantly be having their points taken away and undone. You know, that's, like, it's kind of not fair. I want these to be, I want these little, like, uh, zippery, whatever, whatever, whatever design this is. I want these to be kind of tapered, but not, like, super tapered. I have points to spend. Oh, no. You always get a silly voice. I think it does, so as soon as you're checking that the heat miser cooldown has ended. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good, yeah. Man, I should I should make it heat miser and snow miser. I should make it heat miser and snow miser, because I have the um grandma, it's me, Anastasia. And it's hot in here from um from it's like a night core of hot in here. Not, not! Uh, but, oh man, making it Heat Miser and Snow Miser would be really good. Should I, should I update it? That'd be so funny. They, they'd sound kind of the same, though, wouldn't they? Because they have the same, uh, opening riff. Maybe I could keep it hot in here, but it could be Heat Miser instead. That'd be, that'd be pretty good. So I could, I could keep the alert sound hot in here, but it could be the heat, it could be a heat miser gif instead of the grandma. It's me, Anastasia, girl from Anastasia. Anastasia goes hard. I don't care what anyone says. Anastasia is a Don Bluth film, right? Yes, no, it is. It is because the main the main guy character in that looks like every other Don Bluth protagonist. So yeah, it's a Don Bluth. Do you have you seen? Two-Door Cinema Club. I actually don't know what that is. Is that a movie or is that like a service? What is it? That sounds interesting, though. If it's a movie, I might be interested. There's a lot of movies that I haven't seen. Have you... Have I... It's a band. Oh, okay. I actually haven't listened to them then. You see, cinema makes me think, oh, I guess it's a movie something. So... <laughs> actually, no, I don't want that to be there. Yeah. What would be the cursed version of that? What? I... The cursed version of what? Hold on, now I'm trying to comprehend what... <laughs> which one you're talking about. <laughs> How about Franz Ferdinand? I know Franz Ferdinand, haven't listened to them. Like I said, I'm... I'm really more... Of Heat Merchant. What would be the cursed version of Heat Miser? Oh, okay. Um, honestly, probably... The Night Court, it's hot in here, is pretty... is pretty good. Like, I specifically looked for a Nightcore version just so that it would <laughs> not get copyright bonked. Because songs like that are, like, notorious for having their uh, labels and artists be, like, <clears throat> draconian on their copyright. So, yeah. I'm really trying to make this look good. Because I have this, like, weird... You know, it kind of curves over like that. Yeah. I will say when I when I was uh, getting into some more on on the more like vintage side side of music, right? <laughs> <laughs> the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand led to both the formation of MCR and their recent reunion. You know, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not. You're technically not wrong. Uh, but when I was getting into like some more um, vintagey bands uh, a while back, this was a couple years ago, probably circa like 2017, 2018. I was really getting into this. I listened to a lot more of like Susie and the Banshees, Christian Death, Forty Five Grave, um, Alien Sex Fiend. That was kind of more what I was into. So I still really like um, a lot of those bands. I just I don't really listen to them like on the regular anymore. Um, so, yeah. I really kind of just embraced my super cringe, uh, my super cringe emo kid tendencies. And I, you know what? 
I'm happy, I'm valid, I'm flourishing, I'm in my lane, I'm thriving. <laughs> Found it, I think. Oh, a cursed version of Heat Miser? Yes. Good. I just, I actually just really like the Heat Miser, Snow Miser memes. They're very funny. They're very goofy, but they're very funny. I like them a lot. I like that. Oh, that's That's, that's good. We're getting there. Once we get into doing, like, these long blows, it'll come along, it'll come together a lot faster. But doing these, like, small little things, it's taking forever. I'm debating whether or not the, I want these little tie clips to be colored in, or whether I want them to be, uh, if I, if I want to do them in the coloring stage. Back when I was a teenager, I listened to the old stuff. This was back when you were supposed to like whatever trash the radio played, right? Like, there's some stuff that comes on the radio that is like, I like it fine, but a lot of the stuff on the radio these days is really, like, saccharine pop that I'm just not a fan of. Like, I like, I like really sugary pop, really sugary party pop as much as the next person, but I've really got to be in the mood for it. Like, I, I will admit, like, one of my, when I'm in a sugary party pop mo uh, mood, uh, my go-to is Kesha. I love Kesha. Kesha's great. But I've got to be in the mood for Kesha. If you put on Kesha when I'm not feeling it, I'm going to be like, can we not listen to Kesha right now? You know, because I love her stuff. The radio was 87% Imagine Dragons the last time I listened to it. And, oh man, Imagine Dragons isn't good. I'm sorry to any Imagine Dragon fans out here, but Imagine Dragons isn't good. Like, they, like, it, and the, the, the whole reason Imagine Dragons isn't good is because they're big, right? If no one was listening to Imagine Dragons every five seconds, Imagine Dragons would be good. I'd probably like Imagine Dragons. But everyone is forced to listen to Imagine Dragons constantly on the radio, and it sucks. I, yeah, it's not, it's just, Imagine Dragons is not good in that, in that dosage. They're just not. Their older stuff is good, though. Like, yeah, and their older stuff, but their older stuff wasn't, isn't played, like, 40 times a day on the radio, you know? Which sucks. Hello, Gaming Cyberman. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Mickey, my birthday's coming up in two days. What the heck? Happy Sparring Day, Angel. Congratulations. I think it's, it's cool now to like older songs. Back then, it was unacceptable. That's so weird. TikTok and Gasha ruin Imagine Dragons. Yeah, because Imagine Dragons, like, is definitely really liked by that, um, is really liked by that, that, that kind of, like, younger TikTok crowd, you know? My girl Avril Lavigne, Avril! Yes, queen! Avril's great, I like her a lot. Avril's, like, nostalgic for me, but, like, I don't think... I, I like Avril Lavigne as much as I used to like her back in the day, you know? Like, if she were to drop something right now, and it was, it was, like... I, I only really like what, what if Avril Lavigne drops, drops something right now, if it was good, you know? Like, MCR can drop, can drop the worst thing in the world, and I will still be standing just because I love them that much, but Avril, like, has got to put her whole av Avosi into it. Her Avril Lavosi into it. For me to, for me to come back to her. You keep seeing Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. Yeah, I've seen it. I'm not into it. I'm not going to play it on the channel, though. Like I said, I don't like the developers of Poppy Playtime, so I'm not really going to interact with their content and give them a platform. Which, uh, if you guys have seen, uh, Some Ordinary Gamers, Mudahar did a good video on it, uh, and other people have done pretty good videos breaking down why the developers of Poppy Playtime are just, like, not good people. And also, there's the whole NFT thing. We all know how I feel about NFTs. So, yeah. A lot of music that I've listened to is country, like Old Town Road. Old Town Road isn't really country, though. Like, it's kind of country. It has a country song as its, like, riff and its beat. Um, but it's mostly just Nas being Nas. Nas putting his whole Nazi in it. Well, hold on. I'm trying to say, like... Hold on. Okay. Nas... Pussy, nos, nosy, nosy, little nosy. 
Little mossy? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with that. <laughs> Didn't NFTs implode? Yes, they did. And we're so happy. <laughs> Poppy Playtime is one of the reasons why I'm a communist. You know what? That's an extremely valid reason to go to communism or to be a communist. <laughs> imagine, imagine a shitty indie video game. Like, you're just like, okay, capitalism has gone too far. And the Soviet theme plays. <laughs> it's more country than the post 9-11 party anthem garbage country is known for these days. <sighs> True. Fair and valid. Extremely valid. What? No, it's fine. It's fine, Ghost. Ghost, you guys, you are never obligated to join a stream. It's okay, guys. It's good to see you. I'm happy to see you guys. I love every. I love seeing everyone. But if you have something going on, especially if it's your birthday, what the heck? Happy sporting day. Happy, happy birthday from all of us to you. We wish you our birthday so we can party too. Hey, happy birthday. Happy sporting day, Ghost. Happy sporting day in two days, Angel. Very nice. Very, very glad. I'm glad you guys are having a good time. I hope, I hope you're having a good special day. I hope everyone's having a good special day. My sporing day is coming up in June. Uh, it's on the 18th. You know, I am so upset because I was really hoping that my uh, new model would be would be done by now, but it's not. My new model is not done yet because I really wanted to do the same thing that I did last year where I did like a whole debut event on my sporing day. And I just I haven't even I haven't finished it yet. and I'm very, very sad. Since when the ghosts live next door. Oh, yeah, they just moved in. Yeah, they just moved in. They're a very nice ghost family. Uh, yeah, they're very, very nice. Have fun. Have fun with your with your with your arts. Good luck. You're doing great. Gambe! I believe in you. You're doing a great job. Good teamwork. Good team effort, everyone. <laughs> Even though it's really just other Yuki is working on it, but you know what? It's a team effort. It's team effort because we're all cheering. <laughs> I'm gonna make this one just a little bit bigger. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Wow! Yeah, it looks fine. I'm also going to adjust this one. Just a little bit. Nope, wrong layer. Don't ask for their ectoplasma. Oh my god. Hey, Dragon of Akina, how are you doing? What are your thoughts on Better Call Saul? I have not seen it. I actually haven't seen Breaking Bad either. Oh, dude, Amlogus is super into Better Call Saul, though like super into it like super into it and we've floated the idea okay since i've never seen breaking bad i know right how have i never seen breaking bad mind your business um i've never seen breaking bad and since i'm kind of the only person on the planet who's never seen breaking bad how funny would it be if i watched better call saul before i watched breaking bad because i would be completely blind I'd go in absolutely blind on Better Call Saul. Like, that'd be fun, right? That'd be funny. Selling streamer ectoplasm. Ugh, don't lie to me, you salty baka. No, no, I swear. That is sus, Yuki didn't see Breaking Bad. We vote for her. I, guys, you know that I've like only ever watched animation. Like, it's, it's straight up. I I can watch a live action show, but 99% of the time, if I sit down and watch a show, it's going to be an animated show. But then again, I'm also a terrible person in that regards because I haven't seen shows like Centaur World. I haven't gotten a chance to sit down and watch. Um, I haven't finished Owl House. I'm still on season one of Owl House because I'm watching Owl House with some friends. So we all have to be in the same room for it. And yeah, I am like so behind on all these great shows that are out right now that I just haven't gotten a chance to sit down and watch. Another thing is I really only watch TV when I'm doing something else and I need background noise. Like, I've recently finished watching all of Sonic Boom, and I was only able to do that because I had some spare time and I was working on refurbishing my fursuit just so I didn't go insane, you know? You can only do... You can only do so much... Uh, <laughs> you can only do so much digital art before you go loopy in the head. And... Yeah, that's so yeah, that's 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 what I've been doing. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, I agree. Like a lot of stuff that's uh, that's like in the public eye these days is also just really, really soulless. Because it feels just like, hey, remember this great show? Well, well, now we're doing another another reboot of it. And it's like, can we like get something new and fresh and original, please? Like, it feels like Hollywood has not done an original, original movie in like 14 years. Like, no lie. I would kill to see a new, just completely original franchise. You know? Better Call Saul adds context to Breaking Bad, so if you watch Better Call Saul before Breaking Bad, you'll see the characters differently when watching Breaking Bad. Yes. Yes, spare time to gla- Yeah, I know. Listen, listen. I was working on stuff before my, my home office was set up, so don't- you can't- you can't judge me. You can't judge me. I know you guys missed me. I missed you too. I was going very stir-crazy while I was gone. Don't worry. I love you. I hear Cartoon Network is going to go live action again, like that show, Destroy, Build, Destroy. Oh, I remember that. It's because all of the original movies get outcompeted by the MCU. No, no, like literally, I I absolutely agree with you. Big powerhouse franchises like M like the MCU and such, they are absolutely killing. Uh, they're killing like risk and creativity, right? Because there is an inherent risk associated with starting something new, right? It's not something audiences are familiar with. You don't immediately have that pull and that draw of the established brand name. So there's a risk to, to making something new. And people don't want to take that risk anymore. And art is suffering for it. Art is suffering because people aren't taking risks anymore. And it sucks. Like, you're seeing it with animation, too. Netflix just laid off, like, 80% of their animated studio. It's insane. And you know what? You know what's actually a good example of a reboot that took risks and it paid off? Like, hear me out. Hear me out, right? My Little Pony Friendship is, Friendship is Magic. Because they could have very easily just made a saccharine, sugary, girly, girly, uh, no plot, no nothing interesting pony show. They could have easily done that. But they didn't. They got Lauren Faust. And Lauren Faust does not do that. She's not a saccharine, sugary, girly, girly kind of kind of creator. She makes things that are actually good. They've got story. They've got heart. And that's what made ponies good. Because they got someone good who understood how to take a, you know, ponies is still very sugary. Ponies is still very sweet, very sugary. But there's also a lot of heart to ponies. Ponies have a lot of heart. There's the overarching story arcs, the characters grow and change, the characters have flaws, and they also sidestep around tropes excellently. Rarity could have easily been the uh, the very same trope we've all seen of the fancy girl who's mean to everyone and she's greedy. And then they and then they took her and they flipped that trope on its head by making rarity the generosity element which worked so amazingly well for not just rarity's character but for sidestepping that horrible trope yes mlp is a, is an amazing show it holds up i've been rewatching mlp because it's one of those shows i can just turn on and turn my brain off and it holds up it holds up it really does and it's because lauren faust did such good groundwork that even when she left like it's not like gen 4 ponies um is not a perfect show and it did it did some things wrong and it did messed up on some things that's true yeah it's not it's not perfect but it did a lot of things right a lot of things right and it had such strong foundations that it was able to continue even after Lauren Foss left. Lauren Foss left after like season two, I think. And she was no longer, she was like only an executive producer. And then she didn't like do much of anything on the show. And it was still a really good show. Yeah. Rarity, the pony who rides on a dragon. Did Rarity actually get together with Spike at the end? Because I know Discord and Fluttershy got married. And I know... Discord and Fluttershy got married, Applejack and Rainbow Dash got married, and Pinkie Pie married Weird Al. Pinkie Pie has known Weird Al carnally. Pinkie Pie has a child with Weird Al. Pinkie Pie carried Weird Al's child to term and is raising Weird Al's child. Pinkie Pie married Weird Al. 
Pinkie Pie and Weird Al, I, I am, I am always going to be mind blown about the Pinkie Pie Weird Al ship. I'm constantly going to be mind blown about that. Constantly, constantly, constantly. I am exploding about the Pinkie Pie and Weird Al. Like, Pinkie Pie married Weird Al's pony Sona. No one's talking about it. No one's talking about it. Pinkie Pie has known Weird Al carnally. She has known him biblically. They have lied together. They have created life. Guys, I feel like I'm going insane. Who pitched that? Who pitched it? Who pitched it and who greenlit that? I am on the floor. I'm wondering why Hasbro hasn't done the MLP Gen 4 treatment with Transformers. Oh my god, I know the Transformers fandom is frothing at the mouth. Yes. Because the Transformers fandom is, like, shockingly dedicated. Like, the Transformers fandom is insane. Do you know that Pinkie Pie and Deadpool are besties? I'm pretty sure that's Fanon, but also Varys. Very good. Anyone want to listen to Amish Paradise? God. I would. If I wouldn't get copyright bonked for it. <laughs> God, absolutely insane. I am just not over Pinkie Pie knowing Weird Al Carnally. I'm never going to be over it. I'm constantly just going to be like, hey, did you know? Pinkie Pie and Weird Al got married. Pinkie Pie's married to Weird Al. Oh, 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 oh. Do you guys want to hear another, another pony fun fact that I learned? Okay, there is canon. There's a canon LGBT character in ponies. Guess who it is? Guess who it is? Oh my god, you guys are not ready. <laughs> you guys are not ready for this. Guess the canon queer character other than Rainbow Dash and Applejack. We, we know. We been know that Rainbow Dash and Applejack are lesbians. Move on. Among us. Yes, this is my son. Rainbow Dash. We've been no. We've been no. It's not Rainbow Dash. It's not Rainbow Dash. Yes, we've been no. We've been no. Yes, Apple Dash is canon. Yes, Rainbow Dash is a lesbian. A everyone knows. Octavian DJ. Yes, no, that's also. Yes, no. The uh, and Lyra and Bon Bon are a canon, a canon lesbian couple. Yes, okay. King Sombra is bisexual. King Sombra is bisexual. You guys remember King Sombra? You guys remember King Sombra? The, uh, the bad guy from the Crystal Empire arc? And he's the, he's, he's bisexual. He's bisexual, it is canon confirmed. King Sombra is bisexual. He has like five lines. He's bisexual. <laughs> know that good for him he's bisexual like and it's the, be the best part of this was that in the uh, show or the comics it's okay so it was it was word of god confirmed so it's not actually shown in the comics or in the show unfortunately but it is confirmed by one of the writers on twitter and do you guys know how king sombra bisexual got co got confirmed by the writers on twitter <sighs> You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys want to know, you guys want to hear that story? You guys want to hear that story? People were thirst tweeting. People were thirst tweeting about King Sombra and the writers, the, like, I think it was just one specific writer. He was like, he joined in on the thirst tweeting and he was like, yeah, no, like King Sombra, yeah, everyone deserves to have King Sombra. He's bi. King Sombra bi. Yes. I just... <laughs> I am on the floor. I am ascending. I'm absolutely ascending. Imagine thirst tweeting so hard that a writer looks at you and is like, you know what? You're right. He's bisexual. Like, wait, wait. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm going to inflict that cursed demonic knowledge on anyone ever who doesn't know because I am reeling over King Sombra being bisexual. I am just, you know what? By rights. Love wins. I love it. God. Have you seen Ugly Sonic in the Chip and Dale movie? I have. I've seen that. Yeah. That's almost the opposite of what happened to Alex Hirsch that one time. Wait, what happened to Alex Hirsch that one time? I'd love to hear the story. You know, another show I haven't I haven't uh, watched all the way through. I haven't watched Gravity Falls all the way through, and I feel like a terrible animation fan because Gravity Falls is probably one of the best animated shows in recent years. I swear, like no lie, no cap. 
Okay. What am I doing next? <laughs> I got distracted by King Sombra being bisexual. <laughs> God. Mm. I have an original Megatron figure and I own a remaster of it. And I gotta say, they did my boy Megatron right. That's actually pretty cool. That's actually really cool. I've always wanted to uh, collect like certain merchandise. I really want to start getting some Gen 3 ponies just because I really like Gen 3 is probably one of my favorite in terms of the toys. Um, and But I haven't gotten a chance to actually hunt down any of the ones that I really want yet, which kind of sucks. I have some favorites from Gen 3 that I really like to own, and I just haven't been able to hunt them down. I'm very sad about that. I would, I would, I really do. Like, some of my favorites from Gen 3 is, uh, I really like Moon Dancer. Generation 3 Moon Dancer is my favorite incarnation of Moon Dancer. Don't at me. Uh, Generation 3 Moon Dancer is this really soft, silvery periwinkle blue. And she has blonde hair. And she has some, like, sleepy moon and stars on her cutie mark. She's gorgeous. They really did Moon Dancer really wrong in Gen 4, I feel. Because they just made her a recolor of Twilight with a different hair color. With a different hairstyle. Sorry. Um, and I'm really sad about that because they used the Gen 1 Moon Dancer colors and it just, it just really came out kind of lackluster and I'm very, I was kind of sad about it. But um, I also really like uh, Minty from G3. Minty from G3 is adorable. Yes. Um, yeah. Mm. G G5 uh, MLP is Hasbro giving MLP the Beast Wars tre treatment. I'm not a fan of Gen 5 just because all the character models look like chewed bubblegum. Not joking. Who's Twilight married to in the new MLP? Uh, she's not married. She's a princess, so she's single. Hi, Marcus! I miss you guys, too. I miss you guys, too. I'm so glad to see you. I'm so glad to see you. I'm glad you're able to stop by and hang out with us. I'm glad to see you. Hello. Okay, uh, wait, what's, okay, the story of Alex Hirsch. Oh, I have heard this one. I have heard this one. Um, he was making Lost Legends, and he wanted to recruit fan artists to work on the book, so he asked Twitter to send the recommendations, and they responded by sending him all of their favorite NSFW artists. Oh, that's so messed up. Who does that? Yo, like, I, if I draw NSFW of a franchise and I'm applying to work, on that franchise, I am not sending them my NSFW art. What on earth? Yuki, have you seen those combs that look like switchblades? Yes, switch combs. I love them. They're great. Oh, that's so messed up. Who does that? Who does that? Like, that's that's just, like, overstepping boundaries. Especially, like, just really overstepping boundaries at that point. Like, people forget that, like, NSFW is not some is something that you really have to you know, keep in its in its appropriate place and time. And this, I'm saying this as someone who really likes NSFW stuff. Like, look at my body pillow. It wasn't even the artists themselves, it was their followers. Oh my god. That's really messed up. That's actually really messed up. Like, the artists were sending their safe for work, but the fans, like, that's just really inappropriate. I feel like there's this, like, fandom culture, um, this, there's this issue in fandom culture, right? We're just, people just don't know boundaries. You know, it's just, it's really, really gross. That's really bad. I feel really bad for Alex Hirsch. It sucks that he had to deal with that, man. Guys, if you wouldn't, if you wouldn't say it to someone in real life, and you wouldn't treat, and, and, oh, just ask yourself. If you ever have to say to yourself, huh, is this appropriate? Your chances are it's probably not, and you shouldn't do it. You know, creators are not like it might be it might be totally fine. Like someone being like, hey, um, I want recommendations for some artists to follow and you send them some NSFW artists. That might be appropriate for the dynamic between you and your friend. But you and a professional who like you don't know, that's not appropriate. Oh, my God. Be appropriate. Use common sense. I trust I trust everyone here to be appropriate and use common sense. But at the same time, like. God damn, it never hurts to be never hurts to be said twice. God. That's 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 still crazy, man. That's what my doctor said when I was born. No. <laughs> what? I remember hearing about Disney having an NSFW vault because of a policy they had regarding what employees made. Yes. 
anything you draw while working at Disney is owned by Disney. It's kind of messed up. It is kind of messed up, yeah. Especially since it's Disney that absolutely could have ruined a few careers. Yeah, no, definitely straight up, straight up, straight up. Disney is absolutely draconian about their stuff. Like, Disney? Disney sucks. Kill the mouse. Put the mouse in a trap. Like, the, Disney, the whole Disney Corporation is just, like, absolutely too far gone in how crazy they are. Like, they are the reason why we have the crazy copyright laws we have, we have today, because they specifically lobbied... Uh... They specifically lobbied for um, copyright changes that let them hold on to their copyrights like way longer than they ever should have. Yeah. Disney owns the poo print on the toilet paper roll. It's true. No, that's literally what it's like. It's crazy. It's absolutely insane. I can't imagine working for them. And like the worst part is like animators are in such dire straits because the industry is like imploding on itself that, you know, Disney's one of the better places to work because at least you'll get steady work. It's crazy. It's absolutely insane. As a kid, I didn't understand Soviet era anti-Disney propaganda, but as an adult, I'm right there with them. Burn the mouth. Like the mouse sucks. What? Oh God, what we really need is a trust bust. Like Disney is just becoming this ultimate mega corporation that just owns too much. That's too much, man. As much as this Disney that screws over people, um, the makers of Gone in 60 Seconds have the dummiest copyright control over replica Eleanor callers. That's insane. Like, it's just so weird. It's like, they want you to, they want you to buy all their stuff, but how dare you actually engage with their media and love it, you know? Love it only when we're, when you're giving us all of your money. Don't make replicas, don't make cosplays, don't make fan art, don't do any of that. But, but give us all of your money and love our stuff. Like, what is that? Like, what's that supposed to do? It's insane. <laughs> I'm just imagining a huge closet full of used toilet paper rolls because <laughs> they can't flush it to a public sewer. It's true. Did you ever see Walt Disney on Robot Chicken? No, I've, mm -hmm, yep. There's a lot of really good, like, adult comedy sketches about Disney, and they're all, like, on point. It's amazing. I love it. Didn't Disney sue a family for having Disney characters on their kid's gravestone? No. On God? What the fuck? What the absolute fuck? They just lost their child, so they decided to put Mickey Mouse on there. Because that's something their baby loved. And Disney's like, mm, no, you can't do that. What the hell? I'm on the floor. I'm in shock. I can't believe that. I actually can't believe that. That is a new level of evil. Like, imagine the, like, imagine the depths of just cruelty to do that. It wasn't even Mickey. It was Spider-Man. Stan Lee is rolling. Stan Lee is rolling in his goddamn grave. Hi, Heave. Welcome back. Hi, Heave. Hello. Disney and Nintendo are good for suing over the hottest of bullcrap. Oh, no, absolutely. So, hello, Gleam. Welcome back. That's... That's absolutely bonkers. Like, that is just bonkers on main. I can't believe it. That is, that's evil. Like, I tend to enjoy films dangerous driving, but let the fans make their own cars that, remembers, that resemble the car from Eleanor. Yeah, exactly. Like, let fans, let fans engage with your media and show their love. Like, what? What is that? What? Also, if they, also, like, here's the thing about, like, uh, like, specifically the, the Eleanor thing. Okay, if the company who owns that copyright, if they made a kit that's like, hey, here's everything you need for like $5,000 to make a car look like that car. Like, here's a kit. $5,000 or some other crazy price point. The fans would buy it. 
and then you could say, oh, I have the officially licensed this thing, right? Like, they would be making money. I, what? I remember something where Disney's Terms and Conditions stated that they outright own any comment people made regarding Star Wars on Facebook. I am on the floor. See some dudes driving a 69 Charger th from Duke's Hazard? They aren't infringing on copyright. No, exactly. Like, what? I Copyright is destroyed. Like, I understand. I don't want someone taking my ideas. I don't want someone just to say, Hey, Yuki Ko Yuki, we can make a lot of money off of that anime girl. And then just taking it and running with it. And then I don't get anything. That's what copyright should be for. Cop like, what the fuck? God. Yeah, it's, it's really, it's just messed up. It's just so, it's so wrong now. Like, they're just doing it completely wrong. It's insane. You can buy cat ears for your car. They're on Amazon. Hold on, I need to order something really quick. <laughs> oh man, that's really good. That's really good. Selling official Disney poop company for roll closet. <laughs> They own your skin. They own your skin marks, guys. You better not make any skin marks on company time, or else they'll own that. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Copyright should benefit the artist, not the corporation. Exactly. If it was made by human hands, that human should own it, not a board of directors. Oh my god, that's insane. It's utterly insane. I'm just, I'm on the floor. I'm enraged. How did you get this classified property? Those are our skid marks. Those are Walt Disney's personal skid marks. I am. Um... We're getting real gross and real cursed. <laughs> my god. Okay, I, I'm trying to do the eyes. <laughs> I see people putting eyelashes on their headlights all the time. I've seen that one. I've seen that too. Yeah. I'm just trying to do Miku's eyeliner. I just want Miku to be fabulous. I want Miku to be pretty. <gasps> pretty Miku, a pretty baby. God. Somewhere there's just a giant septic tank full of used Disney toilet paper. It has Mickey on it. Wipe your ass with Mickey Mouse. Copyright Disney Corporation. <laughs> I'm back. Is the MLP stuff done? Yeah, we're done talking about ponies. But we can be talking about ponies some more. No, we can talk about ponies some more. Hey, guys, who's your favorite pony? I like Fluttershy. Fluttershy is my favorite. I ship Fluttercord really, really hard, too. I think they're very cute together. You get cuter than Miku, though. Haha. -ha. I will not stand for the slander. Do not insult Miku in my, pub in my domain ever again. Yo, public domain stories are awesome, though. Like, it sucks that, like, a lot of public domain stories only come into the public domain after, like, hundreds of years. But, so I'm read I'm, I subscribed to a, um, a newsletter called Dracula Daily. And what it is, is you get Dracula basically every day in your inbox, a new part of Dracula. It's so cool. And they could absolutely not be doing that if Dracula wasn't in the public domain. Like, we need more, we need more public domain stuff like that. Imagine taking so much time to make something and then a huge company takes the right fit for it and sues anyone who used it even though they didn't make it. Yeah, that's basically what like creators have to deal with. Like you make a you make a story, you pitch it to a network, and then suddenly you get to make you get it's like it's like a it's like a ball and chain, right? You get to make the story of your dreams, but it is not your story anymore. It's not yours. It belongs to whoever funded it because you signed those rights to get it made. And it's messed up. Like, if people could fund their own projects, they would never sell them to giant corporations to have them be bastardized. Like, again, going back to Gravity Falls, um, going back to Gravity Falls, uh, like, Alex Hirsch, like, Grunkle Stan is his grandfather. It's his grandfather or his uncle or someone important. So that character that was made, um, that was a very personal part of himself, he doesn't own Grunkle Stan anymore. Grunkle Stan is not his. He can't, like, make money from Grunkle Stan anymore. It is belonged by Disney, even though Grunkle Stan is literally just his, his grandfather. His grandfather in a fun cartoon. It's so messed up. 
Mabel and Dipper are based on on Alex and his sister. Like, it's so messed up. Another thing, like, one of my favorite shows is Wander. Wander Over Yonder, right? And Craig McCracken's show got canceled, uh, like, a season before it should have. They were building up to a really cool lore reveal, and the executives liked Wander fine. They thought it was great. They thought Wander was awesome. And they just said, we don't need any more Wander. We don't need any more Wander. We just don't, we like him fine. We just don't need any more of him. Bye. Like, what? The story is not finished. How can you just, how can you just say you don't need any more of it? It's just, I feel like, especially corporations and stuff, they've completely forgotten what makes art important and they don't care. It's insane. Wonder of Yonder was such a great show. It was so good. It's so good. Wander is one of my favorite shows. Yes. Happened with Owl House too. Stop sending NSFW to Disney creators. What is wrong with you people? Not you people. Not anyone here in chat chat. I love you guys. You're all beloved. You're all great. You didn't do anything wrong. The weirdos who are doing that. Oh my God. Hey Chris, how you doing? Hello, Louise. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. We're doing uh, we're doing some line art of uh, Miku today. Uh, this is this is what I've got so far. It's 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 coming pretty good. It's coming along pretty good, I think. They canceled it immediately after Dana Terrace made it. Get, yup, yup. And the worst part is, like, you can tell. I'm watching season. I'm still on season one of Owl House. You can tell they have been building up to it this entire time. Like, it's insane. Like, Disney, Disney sucks. But of course, when, you know, Pride Month rolls around, they want you to give us, give them all their money. Give them all your money. Because they put a rainbow on Mickey. It's evil. It's just evil. We live in a hell world. Like, I love this planet. This planet is my home. Despite everything, this planet is my home. But my god, you guys do some stuff really, really right, and you guys do some stuff really, really wrong. Not anyone here. You guys are all great. You guys are all great. <laughs> Just so you were alive and I wanted to pop in and say hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been on for a little while. About oh yeah, we we went we went on about normal time, so we've been on for a bit. Yeah. Wander is a yandere because he's a yonder. No, y wander is not yandere. Can you imagine yandere wander though? Hold on, that actually would be kind of cool. Can you imagine, like, I'm gonna be your friend, whether you like it or not? Like, that'd be kind of cool. I would love to see, like, an evil Wander episode where he's, like, a yonder A. That'd be kind of cool. I'm into that. I mean, no problem, no problem, no problem. It was good seeing you. Thanks for stopping by. Has anyone said they love you yet, Yuki? Nah, it's fine. I mean, my girlfriend, Bahi said that, but, like, that's different. That's Bahi. That's my baby. I'd rather watch a cardboard box and watch a cartoon show knowing that the company stole the rights from the artists. Congratulations! That's every that's every cartoon on the air right now. I gotta head out. No problem, Kit Kat. Thank you for coming by and hanging out with us. If anything, Wander would be a Genki girl. Yeah. No. Wander would be very, very... Yes. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Salbahi, we love them loving you. Yes, of course. I will definitely tell that. Fungies isn't allowed to be in a relationship. I kiss my girlfriend and we make out with tongue and sometimes, sometimes guys, oh, this is, oh, this is, this is kind of naughty. Guys, sometimes me and my girlfriend, we hold hands. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm in a relationship, guys. <laughs> Sorry. You keep too much information. <laughs> I just want to stop by and say hi. Hi! Thank you for stopping by. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. It's always I'm always happy to see see old and new faces. It's very, very nice. You you sussy. I'm not me no sus. Me no sus. Me no sus. I'm a good little crewmate. I'm a good little crewmate. Yes, I am back. Do you have that nice <laughs> Okay now that's too much that is too much information. That is absolutely too much information. Cringe. Cursed. God. We saw you vent. I'm the engineer! I'm the engineer, guys! I of course I vented. I'm the engineer. 
Dumb. Yuki, you're sus. Try to sus. No, no, no. Yes, hand holding. Hand holding. Good hand holding. Goofy. I'm trying to make the uh, the little eyes, little irises. I want them because I want them to be like kind of. You know, I am. Here, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something. We're gonna go back. We're we're we're, we're taking it back. We're taking it back a little bit. Okay, we're taking it back. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make, uh, I'm on a new layer now, right? And I'm going to make a, oh, you, you're doing the exact same thing. You're just making another circle. Hear me out. Hear me out. I'm very smart and intelligent. Okay, so I've done that, right? And then I take an eraser And I erase the parts I don't want. There you go, see? And then I should be left with a really cool uh, line art. Should be. That's the theory. Circles are art. Yes, they are. Thank you for understanding. Heave gets me. Heave understands me. I'm actually going to fill in the eyeliner too before I do that just so that everything can be like on the same page and I can know where everything is. Yuki, do you know that Ruv from Friday Night Funkin' has parents? That's actually kind of cool. Aren't Ruv and Sorvente married or are they are they siblings? Don't bonk me! What did I do? What did I do? What did I do to deserve a bonky wonky? Super Zoom then use the fill bucket? Hell yeah, fill bucket, fill bucket life. Fill bucket gang. Join the fill bucket gang. <laughs> Okay. Yuki, have you ever listened to Epic Gopnik Hard Bass? That's a song, Zeppelin Bass Machine. Oh, no, I haven't. Mm -mm. Their couples in the community are making mods of them date. That's pretty funny. Don't you, like, in one of the, um, one of the secret levels, you meet their kid? Is that something? Is that actually something that happens? I can't remember. Yeah. There we go. See, and now it has like a really cool, um, like tapering effect there. It slaps. I might have to, might have to kill Allison. Yeah. My new rule, property of Disney. Everything's property of Disney. Disney owns everything, don't you know? Disney owns the air you're breathing right now. I'm really trying to find like that perfect... That's actually that side that needs to be trimmed down there. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, that looks cool. That looks really cool. Yes. There's kids in Friday Night Funkin'. <laughs> Are boyfriend and girlfriend supposed to be like high schoolers? I feel like that's I feel like that's uh that's that's accurate. Yeah, that looks cool, I think. Let me turn that off. Yeah, that looks dope. I like that. Okay, cool, excellent. Soon Disney will be on every block, even your own home will be owned by Disney. <laughs> <laughs> That's straight, no, straight up. They're chibi teens, but girlfriend is much taller than boyfriend. Yeah. Miku is based, but not as based as Knuckles. Based? Based on what? <laughs> I really should not be allowed. <laughs> Boo, lame. <laughs> Goofy. Imagine someone cosplaying Mickey and getting killed by the Sissy Ninjas! No! No, that would absolutely happen. Like, um, yeah, sorry, you can't be a princess because, you, as you can see, the blue in your dress is copyrighted by the Disney Corporation. Sorry. Boyfriend carries a big package. That's why girlfriend keeps him around. Oh, wow, I didn't know he worked for FedEx.
boyfriend be small? I just randomly say he was like four feet or something. Yeah. Yeah. Disney isn't sorry for anything. I love how this has just become a Disney hate stream. Like, this is just us shitting on Disney for like two hours. <laughs> like, yeah, no. And you know what? We're right and we should say it. About that kind of package? Oh, he works for Amazon? That's cool. Amazon's another one of those evil corporations, but you know what? Get that bread, boyfriend. We support you. Refusing to engage with this. <laughs> in my relationship, I'm taller. Nice. I am I actually, like, so I'm like 5'10 in this body, right? And Bahi is 6'2. Guys, Bahi is 6'2. I am dwarfed. I am absolutely dwarfed. It's amazing. I... I, like, you know, I've always, like, kind of liked tall girls, but, I like, you guys know my type. I usually really like petite girls that you can, like, pick up and snuggle like a teddy bear because I'm, like, kind of tall. But, like, oh, my God. Bahi's not my usual type, and I am just, like, I can never go back. Like, I can't. She's so big. And you guys have never had such a good hug before. Like, she's tall, she's strong. I am very, very gay. I like her a lot. I love my GF. I'm gonna drink I love my GF juice. I'm, I need to sippy, I love my GF juice. I, I love GF, I love GF. I, 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 I. Sip, 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 I, I legit, no, she's great. I love her a lot. She's very important to me. There's some weird copyrights out there. Like how Reese's actually owns a specific shade of orange. Thank you for the save, Alphys. Okay, saved. Don't you bonk me, I'm being wholesome. I'm gonna have to go. I have a headache. Oh, it's okay for us, guy. I hope you feel better soon. Take some ibuprofen. And it was good to see you. Yes, of course. And we are gonna be back tomorrow with Arceus. We're trying. I'm trying to ease back into a normal schedule. So we will be doing Arceus tomorrow. Everyone, get hype. I think we only have like one uh, world left in Arceus, if I remember correctly. Like that feels right. Does that look good? Do I like that? Okay, that little part right there I'm not a fan of, but everything else is good. I heard about the Reese's things. Oh man, I'm still on I Love My Ex Juice. Hey, hey man, hey man. If you start sippying I Love Myself Juice, soon you'll find I Love My Ex Juice just don't taste as good as it, as it used to. I stopped playing Arceus because I lost interest in it. Did you beat it? Or did you just like kind of put it down and then never pick it up again? I still want to play it. It's just since I'm playing it on stream, I don't really want to play it on my own time. I want to play it on stream so that everyone can like enjoy the story with me. So I'll definitely be there, especially with my shiny charm. I, I love that I'm just someone's I love that I'm everyone's um, shiny, like shiny good luck. It's so funny because like didn't Cindy find like three shinies last time we played? I'm so mad. I still don't believe I am. I legit don't believe. I have not seen pics. Pixar didn't happen. <laughs> Nintendo, don't use our copyright music. It's funny because you like you used to be able to play Nintendo music on streams, and now you just can't anymore. Like they send out the copyright ninjas, and it's insane. And didn't uh, one of the like big Nintendo archive music music channels like get absolutely sniped, and they're just gone? Like they got Thanos snapped. That's crazy to me. Disney owns Lucasfilms. That means they own the copyrighted Darth Vader's breathing sound. That is, that is, a, that's insane. Kind of like Friday Night Funkin'. There's some, there's some songs that I think you can't use from Friday Night Funkin'. I mean, that makes sense because like, that's just like one guy. Like, it's just a team of, like, three guys who made that. And, like, if it's their stuff and you're just reposting it and then, like, yoinking the ad revenue, I get it. I get it. I, like, I, I'd want to protect my stuff, too. Neil Cesariga has every single right in the world to copyright claim me for using his music. But he doesn't because he's a Chad and he's okay with people do doing that. 
And I have a lot of respect to, um, for him for that. Like I play some, I play some, some Lemon Demon songs on stream and he has every right to say, Hey, I'm going to take your ad revenue because you're playing my stuff. And you know what? That's fine. Yeah, no, I get it. Mm -hmm. That's, that's totally within your rights. And he's just one guy. Like, so it's fine. Um, so yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get, I get why creators do that. Especially if you're just like one guy. It's cool. It would be cool if like you let people use your stuff, but you're, you don't have to. It's just nice. Oh my god, Miku with like the big black eyes, kind of, kind of scary looking. Not gonna lie, look at that. Like, that looks, that looks like some level of unholy. I want to hear a Yuki song. I don't know if it's, I don't care if it's instrumental. I have been thinking about commissioning um, a music artist I like to make me a theme song. So you might actually get that sooner than you think. The, um, the people who made a lot of the music that I play on my art stream playlist, they take commissions. So I've been considering commissioning them to make me a theme song just because I like their music so much. I do remember Dead Mouse's Parari. I, th I feel like I know what you're talking about, yeah. Some people don't give credit for the songs they use, so I see why, yeah. And also the music industry is just such a big industry that like, I, they're just like almost drunk with power, you know? Like the big music labels are insane. Cause otherwise, how else will Beyonce uh, afford her like fourth Louis Vuitton personal shopping spree, you know? So. I think after a certain point, like, you should be able to buy licensing rights for songs, especially if, like, you're running a community picnic day or something. You shouldn't have to pay out the nose if you want to play YMCA at your YMCA picnic day, you know? Like, that's kind of crazy to me. Because, like, a lot of licensing fees for stuff like that are just absolutely insanely overpriced expensive. It's just, it's really not even worth it after a certain point. Okay, that looks cool, I think. Hey, do you want to adjust this little eyeliner, though? I mean, she's only on her fourth Louis shopping spree? God. Baha Blast Miku is a slime girl. I actually would love to see a Baha Blast Miku. That actually is kind of cool. That's pretty funny. Stop making stuff that caters directly to me. <laughs> I'm kind of the same way when it comes to my content as you are, uh, monkeys, because I really just want to hold on to my stuff and I want to stay independent for as long as I can. Like, when I was when I was applying for uh, Vishojo, I really wanted to join them because they seem like uh, they're not, you know, grubby. You know what I mean? They're not just going to take all my IP and run. But at the same time, like, I wouldn't I wouldn't ever sell a pitch to like Disney or something. You know, I wouldn't sell a pitch to like Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon. That's just that's just not how I roll as a creator, I think. Especially because once you sell your um, your stuff to a corporation like that, um, they can do whatever they want with it. So if you're like, hey, I'm de I really don't want to sell my stuff to Disney, so I'm going to sell it to like Cartoon Network instead. What happens if Cartoon Network's like, man, I don't want this IP anymore. Hey, Disney, do you want it? And then they just sell it behind your back. And there's also stories of people like selling their IP and then they get to make stuff, but then they're, they, their IP is being sat on by a corporation and not used. And they're like, hey, I want to do more with it. And then they won't fund it. Right? <laughs> kind of like that's what happened with the Monkey Island guy. He made Monkey Island and then he sold it to a game developer um, or a big corporation. And then he's like, hey, can I make another Monkey Island? And they're like, eh, we don't want more Monkey Island. We just want to sit on the copyright and get residuals for whatever. And so he had to, like, buy back 
his IP that his that he made, he created, so that he could make another Monkey Island game out of his own pocket. It's crazy. Yeah, copyright is insane in this country. I have to check sometimes if the songs I'm using are safe to use. I used to make some little instrumental music from an app, so I really don't have to worry. Yeah, if you make your own stuff, you can do whatever you want with it if you make it. Um, but all the, all the music you're hearing on stream right now is all public domain, copyright free. That just like, you know, credit them and then you can do, you can play it and use it however you like. Which is really cool. I lost a known example is Ford owns Rover, but no new Rovers are being made. Yes, exactly. They're just sitting on it. Yeah. It's, re it's really, really cool of people to just, like, let, pe let, let things be in the public domain. Or, like, you know, hey, I could enforce my copyright, but, like, I'm not going to because you're just a fan making stuff, you know? Yeah. It's all good. Do I like that? Is that cute? Is that cute? Do we like that? I think I like it. Mm. Yeah, I think that's fine. I feel like there's like maybe something that's a little off about it, but I'm mostly okay with it. Alright. I think we're getting to the point where we can just do a lot of like long, long blows, which is nice. I have two manga pitches, but I haven't really started either. No, I, I get you. I'm sitting on a whole Google Doc of just ideas for comics that I just haven't gotten around to yet. I still want to make comics, but with my current workload, I'm just too busy to really give them the attention they deserve, which kind of sucks. So I feel you on that. I'm going to go for the skirt now. The idea for the skirt is we'll do all of the... All of these like long blows here. All these all these little parts of the, in between the skirt, right? And then the bottom we can make a extra thick line. Someone once once asked me if they could use audio I edited from the stream when you sang having a bunch of your stream open on the screen. Oh. Hey Jizz, welcome back. I'm like 56k words into a story I'm editing. That's very cool. That's awesome, actually. I wrote like a 60k Pokemon fanfiction that I haven't finished yet, and I need to sit down and uh, watch it. I need to sit down and finish writing it. Have you watched Inside John? It's pretty good. Is that the one that Alex Hirsch made? It's the political comedy by Alex Hirsch? Because I know Alex Hirsch did a show for Netflix after he left Disney. Trying to get these to match up there. Yeah, there we go. Boom, that was good. Okay, yeah, I've heard good things about it. I just haven't watched it yet, yeah. That's another one of those things that's like on my list, but I've just been so busy, I haven't gotten a chance to actually watch it. I really love um, adult comedies like that though. Like I loved BoJack Horseman. BoJack Horseman is probably one of my favorite shows of all time. Actually, I have a video idea where I have an idea for a sequel. Not like a sequel to BoJack Horseman, but like a TV movie, right? So we get to see the cast one last time. And I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a YouTube video eventually, um, talking about that idea. Cause I have a fun little um, fun little OC character for BoJack that I just think would be really fun to talk about. <laughs> There we go. Mm. I'm like 7,000 words into my 27-page novel. Very nice. That's like more of a novella. But still, very, very cool. Having writing projects like that actually come to fruition is always the best feeling. When's your Netflix special, Yuki? Never. I'm not. I don't want to work with Netflix. Considering what Netflix just did, they really burned a lot of good graces that they had with a lot of the animation community, like, not gonna lie. That is the wrong button. There we go. 
The Simpsons is fun to watch. I like The Simpsons. I I watch The Simpsons sometimes when I just don't have anything else for background noise. <laughs> I'm reading some Shopee. Also, Yuki, Minecraft stream when? Oh, man. I've never played Minecraft, and I want to see how far I can go without playing Minecraft. Like, no lie. I just... Guys, you know how I feel about Minecraft. If I'm gonna play Legos, I'm gonna get the Legos down from my... <laughs> <laughs> from my closet. I have Legos in my closet that I never play with. <laughs> what if I did this an IRL building with Legos stream? Like, what would you guys do? And like, hey guys, Minecraft! And then it's just actually just a hand cam of me playing with Legos! <laughs> I'm on season 5 of The Simpsons and I'm a simp for Marge si Ar What?! <laughs> You're simping for Marge?! What?! <laughs> I... That's a one million thing? Well, one million is gonna be a face reveal. What, and we, okay, so we said for a hundred thousand, we'd do a tattoo on my t on my titties, right? Chat would get to choose a tattoo. One million is face reveal. God. How about ten million for Minecraft? I haven't played Minecraft in a while, I kinda got tired of playing Minecraft all the time. No, I get it, yeah. I feel that way about some games I've played before, too. I actually want to... Yeah, bring that down. Yeah, just like that. Because I want these uh, bottom parts to be thicker, right? I'm waiting for that tattoo. I'm asking you to put Shrek on there. I will absolutely. So the way we're going to do the tattoo for 100k is um, everyone's going to put on suggestions. I'm going to choose my favorite suggestions and I will draw designs for each suggestion. And then everyone gets to vote on the designs I come up with. And the most the most voted for uh, design is going to get tattooed. <laughs> In Brick Riggs, I made something similar to Mr. Pean's car. That's pretty cool. Don't do Disney Legos, though. God. Burn the mouse! Mouse stew, baby! Nice. I also want a little... Like that part right there. It kind of looks weird, because it goes up, and I don't want it to. I just remember about Yumi. How's Yumi going? I I still want to do Yumi. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make a video about Yumi. So don't worry. Actually, now that I have my home office set up, um, I'm probably going to start hitting YouTube videos really hard because I have a ton of different video ideas. My current uh, my current work, work plan is I have a commission I need to finish. So I'm going to finish that commission. Then I'm going to finish rigging Akuma-chan for Nolia because I'm still working on uh, that project with Nolia. Then um, I'm going to finish my model, finish my new model. Then I will start making videos. So that's the that's the workflow right now. And don't worry, we're going to get there. We're going to get there, I promise. I have a ton of different video ideas like pitching stories and uh, coming up with ideas for like characters. So yeah, is Jar Jar owned by Disney? Yes, he is. Jar Jar is owned by Disney, unfortunately. <laughs> Which Hololive girl was it who like is like, oh, I love Jar Jar, he's my favorite, and then everyone was like, no, because she didn't know that everyone hates Jar Jar. That's funny. That's like a classic Hololive moment. I feel like that's a newer one. Is that Subaru who did that? I don't think it was Subaru. Which Hololive girl did that? You can ask this question a lot. Um, who's the top? Who's the top? Who's the top between me and Bahi? Um, God, that's so TMI. Jar Jar's a Sith Lord. Yes, we've been now. He is the reason. Darth, Darth. What is what is Palpatine's evil name? Sidious. 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 Darth Sidious. Whom? Um, God, I I don't know how to answer that question. I don't know how to 
the answer to the question of who's who tops me or Bahi because like I don't know we kind of we kind of switch off. You mean no? <laughs> yeah, she's yeah no she tops yeah no Bahi tops. I I'm I'm sorry to everyone who thought that I was a big OG gamer top, but no yeah Bahi tops. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, a, a jot, jot that down in lore you never wanted to know. God cursed. Imagine you get a tattoo of a Disney character and then Disney sues you. No, it's true. It's true. They literally would. Derp Vader. Yeah, same. <sighs> There's, oh my god, I saw this really funny meme, uh, the other day. It's like, uh, it was, it's Darth Vader, and it's like, where is my e-girl? And then it's Darth Sidious, and he's like, it seems, in your rage, you blocked her. <laughs> no! <laughs> like, parodying the scene where, uh, Anakin finds out Padme is dead. Absolutely cursed. God, Anakin is just such a tragic character. Like, I don't want to say Anakin did nothing wrong, because he did a lot wrong, but, like, oof. You know, he really was just a huge victim in a lot of the circumstances. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I am Epic Gamer, because I am a top. That How'd you know that's what Bahi says all the time? <laughs> Thoughts on Mickey Mouse going to the public good domain? Finally! Yes! Make the mouse suffer! Yes! Mickey Mouse deserves to be in the public domain, especially considering how long he's been, like, around, existing. Like, he absolutely should have passed into the public domain by now. The only reason he didn't is because of Disney and their copyright lobbying, and it's bullshit. So yes, good! Put the mouse in the public domain! <sighs> You should have sailed the stream hating on Disney because we started talking about them suing someone for putting Spider-Man on their kid's gravestone. Yes. I mean, that's just basically what the entire stream has turned into. Just <laughs> shitting on Disney mercilessly. And you know what? I, I, we're right and we should say it. Disney is sucks. They are evil. Like, they sell this idea of magic and love and just happiness, and then they do evil, evil shit. Like, how can you? Streamlabs agree. <laughs> you sure the fuck do. God, absolutely insane on main. I'm trying to do something kind of wacky here. Hear me out. I'm trying to get this to connect in, like, a nice way. Okay, there we go. And then we trim it up here-ish. A little bit more of an angle there. Yeah. Ours at Disney are cool, though. It's just a corporate. Yeah, no, like, the individual creators at Disney are doing their best. They're just trying to make a paycheck. They're just trying to create and do what they love. It's the corporate side of Disney that's just absolutely shitting on them and screwing them the fuck over. And it sucks. It really sucks. Robin Hood stating rich, evil people don't scam Disney. So it's an evil co corporation, basically. Like, we need, we need, like, a Robin Hood type, like in real life. I'm not joking. Should we talk about every company that's stupid? No, I mean, honestly, a lot of, a lot of big corporations are just blatantly evil. Like, no lie. I'm trying really hard to finish this line art today. I think we're almost there. I just, I just really want that line to connect. Can I, can that line connect, please? Nice, that looks good, right? That looks cute. That looks cute, right? Not the Robinhood app, though. They suck. Again, because it's a corporation. Like, the Robinhood app was like, oh, yeah, free trading for the people. And then we're evil. Like, what the heck? Can we just have nice things, please, for once? Is that okay? Is that acceptable? <laughs> have I seen Comey Can't Communicate? I haven't. 
I've heard good things about it. I've heard that it's cute. I just haven't gotten a chance to give it a try, unfortunately. There's a lot of anime that are on my to do on my to watch list. And it's just, it's hard for me to watch a lot of them because I like to watch my anime subbed. And when you watch anime subbed, you have to actually sit down and watch. And the only time I ever watch, I watch TV these days is when I'm using it as background noise when I'm doing something. Like the only reason I watched Sonic Boom was because it was really good background noise while I was like cleaning my room and getting my office space set up and working on my fursuits. <laughs> Someone water the fungi! You- you don't have the guts! You don't have the guts to water me! I dare you! I dare you to make me sippy to Baja Blast! I dare you! Oh, okay, there it is. <laughs> Thank you, Poke Latte. One sippy. Hmm. Thank you for Sippy. Thanking you for Sippy. Appreciation for Sippy. Disney has yellow juice to water the fungi. Cursed. Bad. Wrong. Cursed. Bad, bad, wrong. Cursed. Bad, bad. Bad. Terrible. Awful, even. Fresh from the copyright springs. It. Do you ever get annoyed at people who unironically speak like an anime protagonist in an English dub? No, I know exactly what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. Like, on the one hand, like, I try not- I don't- like, okay. I have no right to call anyone cringe, considering, you know, who I am as a person. Thank you for the save, Jisming. Um, considering who I am as a person, right? Who I am as a funky. Um, I have no right to call anyone cringe. So, but on the other hand, like, yes, a lot of people can learn how to socialize properly through media, but there comes a point where you have to, like, throw aside the training wheels of, like, mirroring characters you like and actually put in the work to not sound like a weirdo. You know what I mean? So, like, if someone's really just trying their best to be nice and approachable and friendly, and the only way they've really seen that modeled is by anime characters they, they admire, yeah, okay, that's fine. You're kind of weird, but, like, you're trying and you're not actively being mean to me. It's cool. But, like, if you're being weird about it, like, expecting me to, like, roleplay with you or something like that, like, that's not appropriate. Like... I don't want to have, like, asterisks in a conversation, you know? Even, like, even online or in real life. Like, if you're expecting me to, like, play into this fantasy with you and we're just trying to, like, get a smoothie, that's weird and not appropriate. I guess there's, I guess there's just, like, a... a level of appropriateness, you know? Like, if you want to just be silly, have fun, then that's fine, but like no one to turn it off because it's not when it's not appropriate, you know. And if you're if you're tr actively trying to use things you've seen in shows to help you model good behavior, and you're just coming across a little odd, then like don't don't be mean to someone for just trying their best, especially because some people might not just understand that they're being cringe when they're trying their best, you know. That's, that's honestly why, if you guys have noticed, sometimes, like, you guys are all very sweet, but sometimes when people come in here and they're, like, trying to roleplay, like, I just won't respond to it, because that's not appropriate. Like, we're not trying to have, we're not trying to cater to one person's fun little roleplay fantasy. We're trying to have a conversation and hang out and stream, you know? So, yeah. Like, there, there's a time and a place for it, basically. If we were doing, like, a totally in-character stream, where it's like, okay, guys, come, be in character, do your wacky characters, let's just do it, um, that's, then it's appropriate. Come in here, be a wacky character, give us a backstory, go for it. Um, but if, if we're just vibing, don't come in here and, like, give us three paragraphs of tragic backstory that no one asked for, that's not appropriate. Yeah. Oh, it's good, right? Yeah, I'm satisfied with that. 
You mean people don't chant an incantation about getting the soap dispenser to open up in a public bathroom? <laughs> At a funeral, anime protagonist voice. Bruh, press F. Boomer dying, not poggers. That's cr yeah, that's not appropriate. Like, that's just, it's not. Yeah, no, exactly. Dorito understands me. Dorito gets my point I'm trying to make. <laughs> But versus like, you know, um, I saw a post on Tumblr one time where they were like, dude, I was at Starbucks and someone was, someone literally just like rubbed their head and like, like that, an like an anime boy when I, when they were like trying to order their coffee cause they were shy and it was so weird. It's like, dude, he's just trying to, he's just trying to be, to be nice and he doesn't know how to emote or express his emotions. Don't be mean to him. Like, let the boy order his coffee anime style. He's just trying to order his coffee, and he's nervous, and he's trying to sim it away. Relax. Relax. Don't be rude. You know? Like, there's a difference. Miku! Miku exists. This is actually coming along pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with this. I am... Very, I'm very happy with myself. I'm doing my very best like no one ever was. Sketch them as my real test. Miku! Miku! Miku the best. If you don't love Miku, you're wrong. I'm sorry. Like, I don't know how to tell you, but you're just wrong. Everyone loves Miku. Thank you. Thank you. I'm trying, I'm trying my best to, uh, do... Do good line art, you know, because I know that's something I've struggled with. I think there's some places where I have messed up on my line art because I try to I try to keep to. Um, so I have a, like a couple little little tricks that I remember from my line art, right? Where it's on the inside, it's more it's uh, thinner. On the outside, it's thicker. And I know there's some places where I haven't done that, and also there's some places where it looks weird, right? Because, um, like, for example, like, right here on the tie, it looks a little weird. Because if you look, this part's thick, and then this part's thick, and that's, like, opposite, so that looks a little odd. But I don't feel like redoing it, even though I probably should. <laughs> but it's fine, I'm not worried about it. <laughs> I don't want to get into character. I like acting like them when I'm, like, by myself, flesh them out. But why is, yeah, exactly, exactly. Miku's main Pokemon is Galarian Farfetch. That's actually adorable. I that's actually a really good, um, a really good Pokemon for her. A lot of people who make like Vocaloid Pokemon teams, they give Miku um, Meloetta as her partner, which is also a really good one. But Farfetched is really good just for that, uh, like old school Miku vibe. That's great. But, like, Farfetch'd or Galar Farfetch'd is, like, the real question, you know? Because regular Farfetch'd, I think, is a little cuter. Uh, and it has, like, a little bit more uh, personality in that it's, like, spunkier. Versus uh, Galar Farfetch'd is, like, kind of more serious. Yeah. Leak stick. Exactly. Exactly. I feel like the Vocaloid characters having, like, character items has been downplayed in recent years, which is kind of a shame, because one of my favorite things about, um, like, all the old Vocaloid characters was they all had their fun little tropey personalities, and they all had, like, their character items. Like, having characters that people can easily see themselves in, sort themselves in, and that kind of, that kind of thing is really, really, is really fun because it lends people a way to interact with the media and content, you know? Like, think about Harry Potter, right? People wanting to sort themselves into a Hogwarts house. Uh, think about every teen dystopia having some kind of uh, sorting system. You have uh, Hunger Games with the different districts. You had, like, Divergent with all of the different personality traits that people were sorted by that was, like, a way to sort yourself. Um, and then you have, like, Homestuck with the trolls, uh, the blood casts you can sort yourself, you can sort yourself in. Uh, that kind of thing. So, yeah. 
Too many characters have big headphones. I think that's just like a uh, like a hallmark of the style because uh, they're all supposed to be like pop stars. So they're all like either wearing like recording headphones or they're wearing um, little headset mics because they're all like about to do a show or something. I don't know. It's cute. I like it. I want to make a little Vocaloid design for myself, but I haven't really thought of anything fun I could do with my character, you know? So. I have big headphones, I can't stand earbuds. I have some, like, AirPods and stuff that I use when I need to use them, but over, but most of the time I prefer, uh, over-ear headphones, uh, too. So. You're right in that, you're right in that regard. I agree. Let's see if this actually looks good. Or if that just looks kind of weird. I might have to carve it down. <laughs> Yuki, what do you think of wokeism? Um, if you guys are looking for a soapbox, that's a good way to get me on one. So I, I'm sure you guys have noticed I am, I technically lean kind of to the left just because like my big thing is I just want people to be nice to each other, you know? And I find a lot of like politics on the side of the right are really just more about being mean and exclusionary than about being nice. But that that's that isn't to say that like a lot of things th here's here's me at the end of the day. At the end of the day, I just want people to be nice to each other. I don't want people to be mean to each other. I want people to have things that they need to live a good life. And I want everyone to have a chance to be the best they can possibly be. Earth gave me the opportunity to be the best I could possibly be. And I want that for other people. I want that for everyone on the planet. And I want that for everyone in the galaxy, really, you know? And I just think if we could all come together and, you know, be a little bit more understanding, a little bit more open, and a little bit more forgiving of nuance, we could, we could have a lot better uh, interactions with each other. Unfortunately, there's just some people that aren't interested in that. They're just not interested in doing something for the betterment of others. They're just interested in doing things for themselves. Like we've been talking about corporations a lot. Corporations are a really good example of that. They don't care about making good art. They don't care about whether or not the, the, the people they employ are making a living wage. They don't care. They just want more money. And that's bad. So, yeah. That's kind of, that's kind of my thing. So... If, if whatever you're advocating for it makes people be nicer to each other, I'm inclined to agree with it. If what you're advocating for is makes people be nice to each other, but you're going about it the wrong way, I'm going to be really sad because, like, yeah, maybe you want people to be nice to each other, but you're being an absolute dick, and that's not helping anyone. So, yeah, that's my two cents. But at the end of the day, I'm just a little fungy. I don't have all the answers. I just want people to be nice to each other. So, yeah. Does that answer your question? <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. I call myself centrist because the media is left. It makes me look. Mm, yeah. I, I, can, I can see. See, I, I think that... Labels are there to make you feel good, right? Labels are there to make you have a sense of identity, find people who are like-minded, and and to they're really just a self-identifier, right? And the problem with the problem with how a lot of labels are used these days is they're they've kind of gotten away from that that kind of idea. And they've become more about, like, being a reductionist way to explain things, you know? Like, you can say something like, you can say, you can say something about anything. You can say something about anything, and if you, can, if you use, like, a particular label to describe it, you've just completely boiled it down to something that loses all of the nuance. And that's what I was talking about earlier. Um, like... If we, if we could all just be a little bit more understanding and a little bit more open-minded about seeing people's perspectives and then making our own opinions based on what we've learned from those perspectives, we would have more nuance to a lot of conversations. Yeah. 
yeah, that's I, I don't I don't usually like getting into stuff like this on my channel because I just like at the end of the day, you know, a lot of this stuff is really really hot for a lot of people because it hits really really close to their heart, and I don't want anyone to feel sad or upset or feel like I'm not articulating myself right. So I just really at the end of the day, I just want people to be nice to each other, you know. I'm trying to get the sleeve! Ugh, okay. There's so many ways to push truth around. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's also what I'm talking about with like nuance, right? Because my truth is not the same as your truth, right? Because everyone's different and everyone has lived different experiences you know that meme where it's like your experiences are not universal that's kind of what that's that's another thing about like the truth because something that some one person has experienced is not the same as something another person has experienced and just because they've experienced different things doesn't make one person right or wrong in that regards you know so, like, one person can say, oh, well, I've never had uh, someone be mean to me for that reason. Cool, but that doesn't mean that no one has had someone be mean to them for that, for, for a reason. You know what I mean? So, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, like, with perspectives and nuance and stuff. So, yeah. Does that look good? I think I like that, actually. That's kind of cool. I am trying so hard to make this Miku look good. Because, like, the last time I did, like, the last Powerpuff Girls art I did, I just ended up really not liking the line art, and I was so mad about myself. I was so mad at myself about it. Because, <laughs> like, I worked so hard to, like, make it look good, and then I look at it after the line art's done, and I'm just like, oh, it doesn't look good. I don't like it. And I'm mad. Come on. Come on, lines. Come on, Lines! Come on! You can do it! I believe in you! Good job! Good job, Line! Good job, Line Art! Angie, yes, me getting angry at, at Line Art be like. But, like, you know the feeling when, like, you work on something so hard and then it just doesn't turn out and you're just mad? That's me. That was me with the Powerpuff Girls art. I kind of want to finish it because I did kind of like the sketch, but I, I probably would want to just rework it entirely, you know? One of these days, I swear I'm gonna make an art that I'm like totally satisfied with. Today is not that day. I think another thing is I, just, I haven't drawn with this tablet in a long time, so I'm I'm kind of um, like re getting used to it because I've been drawing on my laptop so much. My laptop is a completely different drawing experience. <laughs> Ugh, I feel a sneeze coming on. I swear, you guys are gonna get a kitten sneeze here in a minute. There it is! There it is! I knew that would happen. I knew it. I knew it was coming. I could feel it. I could feel it in my bones! Your nose doesn't have bones, but I felt it anyway. Thank you. Thank you. I like drawing, but I don't like the sun going away by the time I'm halfway done. God, yes. Right? Ugh, I'm dying. Uh, another thing is my tablet, it's kind of moving around a lot. I think I need to get like one of those uh, grippy shelf liners and put it underneath it. Just so it doesn't squiggle around all the time. Very funny. Does that look good actually? Hold on, let me zoom out. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Okay, cool. I should record a stream onto VCR. Oh my god, can you imagine? Could you imagine using like a... <laughs> like a VCR to do a stream? That'd be so funny. I feel like someone's done it. But that's pretty good, actually. 
Is it weird that sometimes I think our, bow, our nose has a bone in it because of the hard layer? I know that there's a, like, there is a little section of your skull on your nose. Um, but there is, like, a little, a little, like, not like a bone, but, like, a, a section of cartilage that's harder than the rest of your nose. So, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Unfortunately, your nose does not have bone in it. It just has very firm cartilage. <laughs> My tablet has rubber feet and it's grippy. See, I've had this tablet for so long that I, I, the, the rubber grippy feet have fallen off. So I need to get new ones or I need to like put something under my tablet so it doesn't slide you around. It's very funny. Cool. Make these connect. There we go. Yeah, that's looking cute, I think. What do you guys think? Oh, yeah, we are getting there. That looks pretty good. I like it. Mm. Okay, so we've got hair, face, and the leggies. Hi, Dragon of Akina. Welcome back. Did you run off? <clears throat> Did you run off in return, or are you just using up your high? <laughs> Remember just messes with me? Thoughts of these things are so simple, but I have to think about it because it's either weird or stupid. Oh no, I get I get exactly what you're saying. The nose is a primate version of 70s rubber low speed bumpers. I I I I I I trying to comprehend. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna do like the leggies, right? And then I'll do the parts inside them. I had to send my bleed. Oh no! Ouchie! Ouchie! Yeah, I chew I like chew on my nails sometimes too, and I always get hangnails. I understand what you're saying. Ow! And like bleeding on like a hangnail is the worst because it bleeds for so long. Like, the finger does not- does not need to have that much blood in it. Thoughts on the jelly bean drama that happened a while ago? Oh god, jelly bean. You know, that just- it all comes back to what I was saying about being nice to each other, right? Literally, no one had to watch jelly bean if they didn't want to watch jelly bean. Was jelly bean annoying? Yeah, kind of. Was- did, did jelly bean deserve targeted harassment? Absolutely not. And then be, it become like a meme to hate on Jelly Bean and make videos talking about how much you hate Jelly Bean? Like, what is wrong with you? That is not a kind or loving thing to do. Like, I, I have no doubt. People probably think I'm annoying as hell. And you know what? Hey, that's fine. You're, you're valid. You're allowed to have that opinion of me. That's cool. But like, just because you think I'm annoying doesn't mean you need to, like, be rude about it. And honestly, if you are just gonna, like, come in to just be rude and mean to me about it, uh, then you're not someone I want to interact with, and congratulations, you're blocked, and you don't need to interact with me anymore. Like, but you can't block an entire wave of a targeted harassment campaign, which is what Jelly Bean had to deal with. It was messed up. <sighs> Like, it's so messed up. You, you, like, you don't need to do that. There's never any situation where a kid making cringy Minecraft videos is a valid tar uh, target of a harassment campaign. It's insane. Yeah, so that's, that's my two cents on the jelly bean drama. It was totally inappropriate and never needed to happen. And the people who exacerbated it, they need to, can, they need to take a long, hard look at themselves. And, you know do better like it's not it's not appropriate of course honestly a lot of the people who were like engaging in the targeted harassment campaign are people who just get off on being cruel to others they don't care they don't care about being a better person they don't care about showing kindness to others they just care about making themselves feel good by making others feel bad and that's really really sad and honestly kind of pathetic and they know that and they don't care because they get off on the feeling of power uh of making other people feel bad and it's just sad yeah uh yeah 
<laughs> that's that's my two cents on the jelly bean drama. I hope that I hope that answered your question. <laughs> yeah, my, like honestly, my heart kind of broke for poor little jelly bean out there. You know, can you imagine just like making cringy videos just for funsies, and then it blows up, and then suddenly everyone is calling for like someone to come to your house or your school? Like that's so scary. What would you do? Nice bobbles, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you like. Glad you like them. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Blingy, blingy. Isn't they cute? <laughs> Aren't they great? Look at them. They're so cute. They're so cute. I think they came out really cute. Look at them. Look at the blingy blingies. I love them. I love them. Fight the world. I will also fight the world. Like, I love this planet. It's given me a great home. I'm very happy to be here, but man, sometimes you guys make li make living here hard. I gotta head out. No problem, monkeys. Thank you for coming by and hanging out with us. It was good seeing you. Gently, carefully, carefully. There we go. Boom, baby. That's a leggy. Nice. We're getting there. Mm. Cool. I'm a stickler for anti-violence unless it's like a sport. I, I kind of get, I, yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, I think that some, like some forms of violence can be excusable, but it should never be like your first instinct to harm someone, you know? Like the guy who was like a neo-Nazi who got... Um, who got punched and then he lost his platform because people thought he was a, a joke after that. Like, hey, it's good that he got punched. It's good that he got punched. That guy deserved to get punched. Um, but like, if someone's just being mean to you and you, and you punch them, like, yeah, you didn't need to do that. Or if you don't like someone, so you just punch them, then you don't need to do that, you know? So, yeah. This whole YouTube drama, I'm worried I'm becoming a YouTuber, especially since I'm gonna be faceless. Yeah, like, it should be your fourth instinct. Exactly. Like, violence should be, like, a good third, a good solid fourth or fifth option if you've tried everything else. <laughs> like, no, I agree. Yeah. I don't wanna say violence is never the answer, um, but violence is rarely, rarely the proper, um, the proper answer. So, yeah. That's my two cents on it. I will say, though, people who, like, stick to pacifism are, uh, like, they're stronger than any U.S. <laughs> they're stronger than any U.S. Marine. Because think about it, like, to know that violence is the answer to a, to a per certain solution, right? Like, you're only going to oust these bandits from your village if you go and you and you fight them and you chase them off, right? But to think so hardly and so, so strongly in your heart that, kindness and not having violence is the answer that you pass on that instinct like that takes a lot of strength and commitment and i respect it i gotta head out i was like oh no, don't worry don't worry don't worry it was good to see you hero thanks for coming by and lurking lurkers are always welcome you guys never feel like you have to be pressured to like chat like chat and be active in chat it's okay if you guys just want to vibe and listen to me ramble about dumb stuff I respect you. Of course you respect me. You're like my IRL best friend. Get out of here, Morgan. Morgan, get out of here. Get out of here or I'm gonna... <laughs> get out of here or I'm gonna make... Or I'm gonna turn on Meme Machine. Don't make me turn on Meme Machine. Okay, I'm turning on Meme Machine. Okay. You heard it here, folks. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna get to listen to Meme Machine. Because that's Morgan's favorite song. Where is Meme Machine? I know it's in my playlist somewhere. Tennis. There it is. Mm. 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 Yes. Meme machine. Meme machine. I'm a motherfucking meme machine. Meme machine. Meme machine. Without memes, I will die. Give me the memes. I need the memes. I want the memes. 
I need all the memes, the memes to survive. I need the memes. I smell the memes. I want the memes. I need all the memes, the memes to survive. They call me the meme machine. I catch the memes. I spread the memes. I eat the memes. I shit the memes. Without memes, I will die. Inhale the memes. Exhale the memes. Inject the memes into my bloodstream. There are good memes and there are bad memes. Why has God abandoned us? Help me smoke the memes, snort the memes, take the memes until you OD. If you borrowed my memes, then you owe me a new fresh pair of memes. Meme machine, meme machine. I'm a mother fungi meme machine. Meme machine, meme machine. Without memes, I will die. Give me the memes. I smell the memes, I want the memes, I need all the memes, the memes to survive, I need the memes, I want the memes, I breathe the memes, I need all the memes, the memes to survive, no oh, memes. <laughs> Morgan, did you like that? Morgan, did you like that? Morgan, did you like the song that I sang just for you? I sang you the meme machines. Did you like it? Did you like it? Did you like it? Did you like the meme machine song? I hope you liked it. I did that just for you. <laughs> I am powerful. Nothing else can control me. <laughs> That's good. That was pretty good. So close to 600. Hell yeah. I know that me taking a hiatus. Good. Good. Chase. Not me chasing off like my actual best friend. <laughs> God, that's so funny. That's so funny. I, I you know, you know, a, a little, uh, little uh, harassment of besties is okay. So funny. Absolutely goofy on main. Okay. Okay. I think we just have to do Miku's face and her twin tails, and we should be done here, which is awesome. Oh, really? Are we that close to 600 already? That's awesome. Man, we I know that taking a little hiatus there really uh, killed me in the algorithm, so I'm glad that a lot of people, um, a, lot, a lot of new people have, uh, have come in and, like, hung out and stuff. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Yuki, what was your first act as the new president and CEO of Disney? Um, I'd probably, like, if I was in charge of Disney, I would probably bring the company in, like, a really, um, like, like, I don't know what I'd do, because, like, there's so, there's so much that's wrong. There's so much that's just wrong with Disney, you know? Like, how do you go about fixing it all? It's like, it's, it's like, almost an impossible task. I'd probably just, I'd probably start with, um, making the, um, I'd probably start with making the vault public, the, um, the, the, the NSFW vault. I'd probably open that. I would, I would open that as a, like a premium art book, um, and get that, get that all put together. Um, and then I would... I'd probably, um, I'd probably encourage unionization efforts. S yeah, sever shareholders control. Yes, that 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 goes before any cha any of the, any changes I want to make because they would not be popular with shareholders. Um, I'd encourage unionization. Um, I'd give raises to all staff, including cast members, uh, at the Disney parks. Hi, it just hiccuped. It just hiccuped. Um, I don't know what I don't know why it just hiccuped, but everything's fine now. I think it's because it's raining outside. We have a little bit of a storm blowing through, so sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, raises for all cast members. Uh, health insurance for all cast members. Quality of basically just quality of life for low wage workers uh, in in the in the Disney parks. Um, what else? What'd you do for canceled series? I'd bring back Wander. 
Craig Mac Wander immediately. I'd, I'd call up Craig McCracken personally, and I would offer a I'd call, Disney, Disney hacking the stream. They don't want me to give Bob Iger ideas. <laughs> Um, I'd call Craig McCracken and apologize to him personally, and I'd say, hey, I'm sorry we canceled your show. Will you please come work on Wander Season 4? Um, or Season 3, Season 3, I think. Um, so, jot that down. Uh, yeah, just, like, I'd, I'd do my best to put a lot of the control back into the hands of the creatives that make the things that make Disney the powerhouse brand. You know? Like, they would not be a conglomerate corporation if it weren't for the for, for the artists, creators, engineers who made the stuff that people love about them, you know? If it wasn't for if it wasn't for the people who like did art direction on like Lion King, like they wouldn't have a whole generation of furries frothing at the mouth over cartoon lions, you know? What if they reject about bringing it back? I go mad with power and I bring it back anyway. <laughs> Unthaw waltz the frozen head and let him die. Jot that down. Uh, yep, absolutely. Um, yeah, I would, I would actually also kind of start, I would start shifting company culture away from the deification of Walt Disney. Walt Disney has become less of a man and more of a mythological figure to people at Disney, and it's kind of disgusting. He's not some, like, almighty god of creation and business. He was just a guy. He was just a guy who sold things. He was, he was, a, he was just a businessman. He's not a god among men. He's not the, he's not the ruler of the, of the corporation. He's dead. He's a guy. Yeah, he's a guy. He did great things. He did some cool things, but he also did some really bad things. And, um, we're not gonna give him a pass for the horrible things, just because he did some good things. Um, what else? What else would I do if I owned the Disney Corporation? Hmm. Close the secret church of Walt Disney. <laughs> Hidden below the park, yeah. Yeah. Um... Probably greenlight some more original movies, bring bring the company into more experimental era, like the early 2000s. Uh, get more movies like Emperor's, uh, Emperor's New Groove, Treasure Planet, kind of such made. Just give something fresh, you know? Like, the company's big enough, they can survive being experimental. It doesn't need to be about milking their next billion. It can be about, hey, we have all these fucking resources, Let's make some cool stuff that no one else in the world can make and have that be our new brand. We have the opportunity to make things no one else can. Let's do that instead of just churning out princess after princess. Make a Disney MMO? Oh, dude, a Disney MMO would be so cool. Especially if, like, it was actually made by people who give a shit about MMOs. You know? Like, a Disney MMO would make a lot of money if they did it right, and they've just never done it right. A Kingdom Hearts MMO. Everyone imagine a Kingdom Hearts MMO. That would be so cool, right? Think of someone who does a Mickey voice and has a Mickey Mouse puppet and talks about how much he misses his dad. God. Imagine Fusion Paul, but Disney. Yes, exactly. Imagine a Kingdom Hearts MMO. Imagine that. Like, that would be so cool. People would love a Kingdom Hearts MMO. And that would that would do really well, I think, if it was done right. If it was made by people who made it good and it wasn't just a shitty cash grab. And you could also make a kid-friendly MMO, like an all at all ages MMO. You absolutely could. Um with the with like Kingdom Hearts branding. <laughs> And you know what else? Disney is a huge presence in Japan. The Japanese market would eat up a Disney MMO. Like, I would absolutely make a Disney MMO. That would be my mark. And I would absolutely have a self-insert character. <laughs> like, Audrey would be, like, the main character in the Disney MMO. <laughs> I don't know what an MMO is. is a massive multiplayer online game, kind of like World of Warcraft. 
or like RuneScape. It's a big game that you play that plays with a lot of other people. Yeah, it's a really cool game. It's a really cool genre of games. I've never really been into MMOs just because I've never found an MMO that um, I've really like clicked with. The thing about MMOs is you have to find a game that you really like. Um, or a game that, like, is rewarding to play that you can see yourself sinking a lot of time into because the best MMO players are the players who spend hours and hours playing it all the time. Yeah. Yeah, a Disney MMO would be really cool. I would make a Disney MMO. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've, I haven't even played Kingdom Hearts before because, you know, it's not really my thing. But, um, yeah. I would, I would personally see to it that a Disney MMO got made. Because they've, they've made games before. They have a game studio. And some of, like, a lot of the Disney games aren't, like, good because they've just always been cash grabs designed to tie into their movies. And no one ever really cares about making something, making a quality product. That's the biggest problem with Disney. Their quality has just gone down. They've learned that they can coast on their name instead of making their name revitalized, you know? Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 were good, but Kingdom Hearts 3 was a disaster. I think a lot of the problems with Kingdom Hearts is that Kingdom Hearts is impossible to get into now. Kingdom Hearts is just... it's... How do you get into Kingdom Hearts? You know? <laughs> Yuki's gonna make GTA Online, but of Disney? God. Disney, hire me. No, never. I would never. Uh-uh. Unless they offered me, like, the complete, like... Uh, package of being two big splurks and a big ass bloopy, three more yoinks and I buy me a smoothie, put up a gloop that's a gloop and a splurgy, one bad gloop and a kitty smoke a big yoink, small splurks and a smoothie, top a big doink, three more splurks, yeah, I'm fucking up some big doinks, so we go big bands, yeah, I'm thumb and joints, cook a stopping. My dick is so long Been the movie and then I take you to Hong Kong Shoot you in the face with an AR Now you're real gone Chill in the Costco while your mama's sucking my dong Forty feet, that's how tall my horny is Blow at me, bitches sucking like bitches That's on me, I'm a sort of blind bitch That's on me, I just bought a diamond Nobody gonna pay for this The shit is blind, the shit is gross, it's just later this <laughs> Yeah, one bag, one bag loop, baby <laughs> Oh man Maybe one of these days Yuki will get addicted to an MMO and we can all play together. I, I, man, I've never, I've never met an MMO that, I, that, that agreed with me. I'm being honest. I've never met an MMO that hooked me. Never. Never met one. Mm -mm. Cause I could absolutely, I can absolutely see myself being the type who would enjoy an MMO and play every day. But I've, an MMO's never hooked me. I've never had a, never had a good MMO, uh, really hook me. I think it's also just because I don't really do the whole, um, do the whole, like, dopamine cycle thing, you know? We're like, oh man, uh, I get, I get such an easy hit from, uh, playing this game for hours and hours and hours. Uh, I'm gonna do nothing but play this game for hours. So, that's part of why an MMO's never really hooked me, you know? You're good singer. Thank you. You're very sweet. <laughs> I do my very best. I really want to try and get um, get some uh, vocal coaching again soon because I used to have a vocal coach and then I haven't had one in, in years. Um, so I'd love to get my voice trained up again, but that's probably not going to happen for a while. How about a Viking game? I can't remember the name of it, but you build a log house piece by piece. Hmm. Fusion Fall was kind of lit until Cartoon Network canned it. Yeah. Some guys are keeping a server going for a couple years and putting out updates and they got hit with cease and desist. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. Same thing happened with Club Penguin. Club Penguin just got uh, shut down. Like the Club Penguin um, fan server that had been going for years and years, it finally got just completely tanked. And again, that's another, that's another example of the mouse being fucking evil. <sighs> we can't have nice things. All right, let's go. Twin tails.
Club, Club Penguin is finally gone. It's like finally, finally gone. Yeah, like the fan made server is just completely yoinked. If you try to log on to it, um, you get like a an FBI page. It's like, hey, this page has been seized by the FBI. It sucks. The mouse is evil. I'm so sad because like Pink Lemonade did a stream a while back where she was exploring that um, that server and it was really cute and it made me want to do stuff like that, you know? Don't forget to ease up on copyrights when you take over. Oh yeah, no, I'm absolutely putting certain characters in public domain. <laughs> when I do my hostile takeover of the uh, Disney Corporation. I'm pretty sure there's still um, other Club Penguin servers that are up, but none of them are quite as big as the one that just got shut down. Which, you know, really sucks. Because, you know, the whole part of, like, a, an MMO is the massive multiplayer part, right? So it just really sucks that it's just, you know, all completely, all completely ganked. I remember trying to play Club Penguin, though my tablet made the game really laggy. Also, the Club Penguin Revival, like, the Club Penguin, um, like, tablet game exclusive MMO was bad. It was a bad game. It was laggy. Um, there was no one playing it. It was just not good. So like that's that's probably why no one played it. It was bad. The worst part is like people like corporations it seems like they actually try right to make something good and then they just drop the ball so hard because they fundamentally misunderstand what people love want and expect Blech. just a random hiccup don't mind me <laughs> yeah it's 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 wacky man you guys remember the disney cruise commercials low-key i do oh my god haven't thought about those in forever I'm trying to get this stuff. Oh, that didn't mean, I don't want to do that. Okay. Come on, work with me here. I'm just trying to make this. Ugh. Yeah, I stop playing whenever I try. Yeah, exactly. Like, if you can't play the game, how are you expected to play the game? You know, it's just, it's really dumb. It's really sad, and I feel like Neopets is kind of going the same direction now. Because Neopets has just... I feel like the team behind them just don't care anymore. Like, Neopets is the only game that I that I really, like, ever played for a long amount of time. And that was because, you know, I played... It was one of the first things that I, like, did on the internet when I came to your guys' planet. And I, I have a lot of fondness for it. I have a lot of fond memories of Neopets. I met one of my best friends on Neopets. Um... And, like, it's just a shell of its former self, you know? They're just pushing the premium aspect of Neopets now, and it's just really not worth it anymore. Like, if you want to do anything with Neopets, you have to spend so much money, like, real-life money, on their premium currency. And I, like, I, when I was playing Neopets really hardcore a couple years ago, I had, I played, I paid for the premium service and I did pre, I had premium stuff and it was fun, but it just, it didn't have the same magic as when you could just log on and play it, you know, and just get that fun magic and that hit of buying and selling items and playing with your pet and all the cool stuff that you could do. Yeah, it's just really sad. I also, I just feel like the, um, the corporatization of the internet has just really killed a whole generation of stuff that used to be out there readily available and, in a way, magical. Thank god Newgrounds is still up. Newgrounds is still up and Newgrounds is mostly unchanged, which is really nice, which I really appreciate. Like, Newgrounds got, like, a facelift, but at it's, its core, it's like, yeah. I'm playing Persona 5 Royal when I get home. I haven't played any of the Persona games. Are they good? 
Like, is Persona, like, worth getting into? What do you guys think? Because I've never really, like, given it a try. I have some friends who really like it, but I've never tried it myself. Ugh, I really just want to finish this <laughs> little twin tail because we're almost done with this. We're almost done with the lane art. Nice. Excellent. I've only played fine, but I hear, hear good things about pretty much the whole series. Hmm. Big corporations scam more people than scammers in India scamming sweet grandmas. Yes, honestly, it's it's, it's kind of true. It's like kind of true. Have you guys seen the new uh, Mark Rober video where he uh, releases a bunch of pranks in like a scammer company in India? It's actually kind of awesome. He does some really cool stuff. Like he sets off like a, like a stink bomb and he um, he puts like hand soap in the bathroom that like dyes your hands blue. It's so funny. It's great. It's so good. It's so good. Mark Rover is like my hero. I love him. I love his stuff. He's like one of those like longtime YouTubers who's just never been controversial. He's just always been a cool guy. He's awesome. Mark Rover is a god amongst glitter bomb makers, right? People who infiltrated were so brave, right? Like, they they really like did did what they had to do. Like it was crazy. Yeah, no, really. Like, shout out shout out to them. They did a, they did they did some really good work over there, you know? <laughs> I mean, they shut down not just the ones they targeted, but like three different, like like the whole uh, operations in India for like a for like a couple days. It was great. They saw the death threats and they carried out their mission. Yeah, and they they really did like put their lives on the line because I have no doubt that a lot of those like it's basically like a hardened they're all they're hardened criminals who are like running it. And they just, like, were really out for blood. It was crazy. Yeah. Okay. Boom! We just got to do her little cheeky! Oh, she looks so cute. This looks really good. I like it a lot. Yeah, this is coming along really good. I'm really happy with this. It's time to spin the wheel. What the heck? You stupid VTuber. Oh no! Hi! Welcome back, Sarcastic Yeti. Your name is Big Brain on the alerts for some reason. It's very funny. Okay, let me turn on the wheel so we can give myself a new hat! New hat time, new hat time! What we got? What we got? Tell us how we at all! Oh no! Oh no! Guys! Good. Goodbye, son. Goodbye, son. You can go to daycare, okay? Go to daycare. I love you. Okay, I love you. Mwah. I love you, son. Okay, bye. Teletubby time. Oh, man. Teletubby at all. Teletubby at all. I think this is a little big. Yeah, it's a little big. Uh, yeah, the worst part is pinned perfectly. I'm a Teletubby! Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh god, oh no, it's pinned to like my bangs. Uh oh, I don't want that. No, 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 don't pin on my bangs! No! Oh no, it's like pinned on the wrong thing. This is the worst. Uh. Pinning stuff in VTube Studio like kinda sucks. Petition for it to stop doing this. Okay, 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 come on, give me something good, give me something good. Stop! Oh my god, this is so hard! There we go, there we go, there we go, we did it, we did it, we did it! Tell us how the uh oh! Tell us how the uh oh! 
I'm a Teletubby! Uh oh! Uh oh! God. Teletubby, uh oh! That, this is. This is probably one of the best hats in the hat wheel. I'm not gonna lie. It's honestly one of my faves. I think this, I think this one right here was the one that like inspired the hat wheel. That feels right. Cause I think I just, I brought this one on just for, just for no reason one day. And then just, it just spiraled out of control. We all decided we loved the hats so much. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. God, this is the OG. This is the OG, baby. The OG hat, baby. Okay, I think this is actually like the last few lines we need to do. Boom. And this one right here is getting cleaned up. Yeah, that looks sick. All right, and this little part right here, get it cleaned up. And the line art should be done. It's probably like a one or two places that I need a, another little go over, but yeah. Disney buys Rockstar Games and replaces all the guns with water guns. Do not speak that into existence. <laughs> God, can you imagine? Like, that kind of censorship is like Neopets level. Neopets has really bad censorship, for those of you who don't know. Like, you can't say, like, die on Neopets. There we go. Miku! We got Miku, baby! Check it out! That looks- this looks pretty good, I think. Nice! I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. And I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. I'm saving. Okay, saved. We did it. Yay! Yay! Everyone be happy! So I think- so like, if we look at- If we look at the, um, the actual art here that we like base the pose off of, this is her- poster that we're like kind of recreating so i think we should like like obviously we're gonna do the full body and just have the full body art <laughs> miku's traffic cone legs are so cute i know i love the little traffic cone legs but i think when i like release this as a print on my uh my, my merch store i'm gonna do it kind of like this i'm gonna have it looking like this and i might release like the full body as like a keychain i think that would maybe that would be kind of cool it looks so cute yeah, baby! Look how far we've come. Look how far we've come from this, like, weird little sketch to the more, the more cleaner sketch that still looks kind of weird. So the nice line art is so great! That's so awesome! That's awesome! I'm really happy with that. That's really great. I'm, I'm really glad with how this turned out. Absolutely. Okay! Well, um... Yeah! Thank you guys all so much for coming by. Thank you all for hanging out with me. They're very panty and stalking. I'm a little, I'm, I'm kind of inspired by that. Yeah. Pa for those of you who don't know, panty and stalking is like one of my favorite anime ever. It's a really good one. Um, yeah. Thank you guys all for coming by. Thank you all for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Don't bonk me. Don't bonk me while I'm trying to say goodbye and be nice. What the heck? What the heck? Yeah. Thank you guys all for coming by and for taking time out of your day to come spend time with me. Thanks for the stream! Down with Disney! Kill the mouse! <laughs> it's called hentai, and it's art. Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that thunderclap? That's crazy! You guys hear that? Oh my god, it must be coming down out there. Wow. I guess it's been raining like all day. That's insane. Okay. Okay, well, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna play some Arceus tomorrow and just kinda hang out and vibe. Oh, you guys didn't hear it? Oh, okay, well, I guess my filters were working. Yay! Okay, alright, um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna play some Arceus tomorrow. Uh, gonna explore the Tundra area. Oh, we're gonna get to catch some Zerua. Uh, I'm very excited for that. I'm gonna catch a ton of Zerua. I know Gleam gave me a Zerua named Kitsune, so we'll have to bring Kitsune along. Yeah, 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 that'll be fun, that'll be fun. Okay, um... 
yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow and we'll play some Arceus and just kind of hang out and have a nice little chill time. And hopefully on thir Thursday, yeah, thir yeah, Thursday, Thursday, we will have, um, we'll finish this Miku art and yeah, that'll be, that'll be cool. I'm very excited for that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, bye. Bye! I'll see you on the flip side, my Slam Gang!